I don't know what happened there, but we are back. Episode three, absolute pandemonium. We're in a little bit of line behind, so we apologize to everybody who was here at six, ready and waiting. But we got vocab. We got me, Panda Pandemonium. The rest of the crew will be in, you know, shortly as we speak. You know, it's a Saturday afternoon. We got to enjoy the family time and all that jazz that goes with it. So, you know, we appreciate y'all sitting with us and relaxing. Hopefully your week has been great and amazing. Uh, Ours was. Vocab, how about yourself? Ma was good. And for all the viewers who tune in to see what the choice of the week is, today we got a little variety. We on Guinness and Stella. Yeah. Okay. It's been a it's been a cool week. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. We're going to relax, enjoy this Saturday, and talk We're going to enjoy this Saturday, like he said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Looks like, oh, we got Infamous swinging okay. in. Not on the road today, thankfully, so we get his undivided attention and hopefully a little bit of better sound quality from him. So, <laughs> I had bro. got one earring popping, you know what I'm saying? I see you salute my guy. Okay. Okay. With the flex, with the flex, the flexity flex flex. Oh, the bleach nice. Bleach. Did you did you are you Oh no. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Sir. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So that actually, we're going to start off with that thing. I'm going to we're going to give uh, Rod a few minutes to jump in, but we're going to start. I got a, uh, I got a thing that we can do and it's going to be like, it's, it has to do with masks. So okay. we'll see. We'll see about that when we, when we jump in here, when we jump in here. Um, yo, how was the week though? Infamous. <laughs> Can you hear us, sir? Uh... We can't hear you. Yo, Jay. You're not muted, bro, but we ain't got no volume from you. Right. Slight technical difficulties to our viewers. Life happens. Say la vie. Besides, it's Saturday afternoon. What was y'all doing anyway? See, right. waiting on us, and we appreciate it. We do. Beer looking luxurious, you know. Yeah, here now. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do, sir. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Hold on. What happened? Uh, it looks like he's got some. Uh, it's got a little feedback on the on the mic on him. That's all. He's robot. Ain't no up. thing. Ain't no thing. Did he jump off? Jump back in? Yeah, he jumped back in. Here we go. Tess. And we're going live now from Infamous J. <laughs> he had the hand on the ear. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yo. Today we've been up. The hotel. This, the cash from house. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. We got you. We got you. We got you. Cool, cool, cool. Let me see if I can pull this one real quick because this is going to be hilarious. We got a heck of a show today. Um, We got some burning questions that we we've been putting off for a couple of weeks so i apologize for those we're going to get into some of those later for example you know the history of fighting games one thing we got to talk about yes, uh, sir. there we go right we Silv- building I, you know i'm gonna start calling you a silver fox even though you ain't great yet bro just because of your name in there <laughs> nice how you doing bro i'm doing all right how y'all doing good good yeah, Good, good. How's the week treat you? Uh, week was not too bad. Just trying to catch up on some payments and some other things. Did use a gift card I got from the job. I got a seventy-five dollar gift card from Best Buy. Went Man. went a little went a little ham on it. Got a Roku uh, live, live for for the for the living room. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it. Yeah, got some new Got some new headphones and also got what else did I get? I had something else I can't remember. Oh, a portable charger, which I'm using right now. There you go. I'm had to get it. the port had to get the portable charger. Right. 
I mean, if if not, like, what else were you gonna do with it? Like, just spend it on important stuff? Like, come on, <laughs> who does that? No, nope, nope, not me. So, <laughs> so, and of course, it wants to act funny on me now, and I'm hurting. It's hurting. So, uh, Infamous had his masks up earlier, and from Bleach, and so. I'm gonna name off some. I'm gonna try to get it to get the picture to show back up here. For some reason, it's not it's not acting right. But I'm gonna list off some masks, mm-hmm. and you can only choose mm-hmm. one, and you gain the abilities of that mask. All right. So I want you to tell me what it would be. So we got Batman. Okay, okay. We got Black Panther. Okay, okay. Okay. We got the Green Ranger. Okay, okay. Mm. We have the Spartan Mask from 300. Okay, okay. V from Vendetta. Mm-hmm. Deadpool. Okay. The Mask. Okay. Jim Carrey style. Yeah. Mm. Lord Vader. Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. Spawn. But, but, but let's, let's talk Matt. Matt. Huh? It came back for a second. Yeah, Spawn. Yeah, it popped up, but the image isn't showing for some reason. So, and that's the part that's well, tripping me out. Magneto. Boba yeah, Fett. For some reason, so, and that's the part that's tripping me out. Or Venom. Magneto. Mm. Right. Mm. Mm. That, that, is that the list? list? That's the list. Yeah, that's the list. Right, I'm so, um, I'm with Deadpool. But my question is, what power do you get for getting Batman's mask? Good point. You know that is a very good point. I'm gonna think. I'm thinking rich, possibly white privilege. Right. <laughs> you know, well, like, yeah, nah, there's that too. White privilege is a fucking superpower. It, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I will have to agree with you on that one. It, it kind of is, uh, but I don't know. I don't know. Other than other than like his his money and his ability to to craft gear to at his disposal, I got nothing. I got nothing. That's about it. So mm. that's a tough one. I would think if you're going by the mask, you get the powers and the abilities, or just the suit. I that's a good. That's the question I would ask. Yeah, abilities. You get, it says you get the abilities, all the abilities that they have. Okay. Whatever hmm. those may be. I know I someone wants to say Black, Black Panther, Panther but, but, but I, I don't know. know. <laughs> you need to earn that, that one. Yeah, well, you, you would get all of that. All of that would come with it. All of that would come with it. Everything, yeah. There's no, no holding back. For example, Deadpool, you got all his regen- regeneration. Venom, you get the whole symbiote, the whole nine yards, everything yeah. they, at their peaks, at their peak of abilities. What would it be? I'm, I'm, I'm between, between Venom and Deadpool. Between Venom and Deadpool. Okay, okay. I can see that. I can see that. I got I'm kind. Of, I'm kind of leaning towards Green Ranger, actually. Just for Green Ranger is comments. a good one. I yeah. mean, you got to admit. He did come in like if for those we're all of the same age range here. The 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 day we waited for when Green Ranger jumped into Megazord's head and beat the living daylights out of every other ranger in <laughs> in the cockpit and kicked them out. They own Zord. Oh, they own Zord. Like, how you gonna kick me off my own stuff, bro? Like top five petty moment of all time. Of Definitely all a top time. one. All time. It was so Pop worth black it, though. Air Force Energy. <laughs> that is that's another one we have to do is black that's black Air Force, Force Energy. Energy right that's actually one of my um, TikTok niche when we we do characters and get them levels of black Air Force Energy. Okay, okay. So we yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do that one as well. We'll have you have you lead that one when we do it next time. Cause yeah, that's a that's a whole a whole thing, and I don't know why this is doing this for me for some reason it does not want to share that particular screen so i apologize y'all we'll get the rest of it as we go through gotcha but 
tech difficulties as always. I had it going earlier too. I'm like, yes, perfect. Everything's finally good. Click off. <laughs> nah, no one work. Let's let's not do that today. All right, all right, all right. So um I'll I'll save what I was gonna do next for a little bit later in the conversation then. Um because those without the images aren't gonna really be as good. Um I do want to talk about music for a minute. We had, we had briefly touched on The Rock recently rapping with Tech 9 on the track for Face Off. What was y'all thoughts about that? I was a little upset. I was a little upset. You were a little upset, okay? Okay. I'm gonna tell you what. Don't get me wrong. It was it was I'm an amazing. Don't get me wrong. It was, just, it was an amazing. In my soul, I just thought my rock soul. I just stopped rapping. I just stopped rapping. And I was waiting on it. And I was waiting on it. I was waiting on it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can see, see that. that. I can see that. So I mean, I mean, I can see it. You know, anytime you got somebody like take 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 on on track. Oh yes, all day, all day. Strange music for life, for for life. And I don't know, like a lot of people, they're like, oh, you know, they don't do underground. And I'm like, they underground has some of the best music across the board. Yeah, because out underground, you don't care. <laughs> True. Yeah, actually, you're yeah. You, don't you don't have, have people telling, telling you the kind of music you should put out. Like mainstream, yep. they pick and choose. True, true, true. I guess I'll go mm-hmm. next. My opinion, I really didn't care. I mean, people were mad The Rock was doing music, but it's like a lot of people forgot he did It Doesn't Matter back in the day with Wyclef. I'm like, yep. that, was, that was my first thought. Yeah. Yo, dang, man. You were in Wyclef, back. whole mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. People forget about that yeah, completely. Sure. A lot of people f- forget like music is what I guess I'll go next. My opinion, I really <laughs> music is one of those things where it's like it drives a lot of different industries. You know, especially mm-hmm. if you think about The Rock and WWE, like WWE, WWF, no ECW, they were all about using music in and their introductions. True. The fact that more of them didn't rap or sing their own intros at any point Still boggles my mind personally. Where it's like it drives a lot. So that's just my I thoughts on it. I don't know about anybody else on, as that. far as that part goes. I thought the big show did his own song for the longest. I really did. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Whoa. Yeah, that's all I thought it was. I think John Michaels of Val Venus did their theme song, if I'm not mistaken. No. John He didn't. Sean Michael, sorry. But I will say this because I'm a big, big WWE fan, which I'm not no more because they did some stuff this past week. But a lot oh, of I the. Let me start it. But um, a lot of the, I would say, attitude era to like the ruthless aggression era was some of the best intros for wrestlers coming out. Like you had Randy Orton's, you had Triple H. I always had a good one with the artist. And you got um, West Sean Michaels. Like I love when they had actual like artists performing this stuff. And when came to like the big events like WrestleMania or you know um, some of the pay per views, they actually get them to come to the show and perform it. True. That was it. Are you talking, Panda? I was, but you know that, that <laughs> you know he doesn't help anything. You just see the nice panda head up here running his mouth for no reason. Anyway, I had it fixed, and then it started like reverberating, and I was like, "Shoot!" Then I had to I had to switch back over. But no, the um, we're gonna get together. We will, we will. By the time the show, and I like again, I apologize, y'all, but we appreciate y'all sticking with us and enjoying us still because. We're going to be funny regardless. It is what it is. We are who we are. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I would have thought they would have brought more people in, like more, especially like bands and things. 
like you would think that that would be especially for like WrestleManias and stuff like that the amount of rock and alternative music you know what i mean that got played or even if they had a um an on uh, i don't know what you call on call band whatever the, you know whatever you want to call it that just played songs you know like a cover mm-hmm. band that they just knew all these songs and they would just play them live no but cool. That would be Shout cool. Out to, um, Mark Henry, Rank Three Six Mafia. Oh right, right. Yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. They, they came for a show. I enjoyed that one thoroughly. Yeah, I haven't watched WWE since like what? When they split SmackDown and Raw. That's when I stopped watching. I was like, I was like, that's that's oh, dumb. Which, which, which time could they do that? Like every other year, they'll bring them together and they'll split back up. They'll bring them together and they'll split back up. The very yeah. first time yeah. they did it, I think, like, 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 Hopefully they go to next or AEW. Yeah. If you would you would think one would think that the amount of ideas that come through would get you're saying something would be done, but c'est la vie. There are times when it just don't just don't happen. Just don't happen. Speak your mind. They got rid of my favorite wrestler, bro. Yep. <laughs> they they got rid of one of my favorite African wrestlers, and it, Keith Ooh. Lee. Keith Lee. Yeah, I heard about that. So yeah, I the heard The thing about with that. Keith Lee is he was in NXT, the first dual NXT champion. Then he comes uh-huh. to WWE. He is when he comes to the main roster, top prospect. He has some of the best matches they could have gave him. He had a match against Brock Lesnar. He had a good little run against um, Drew McIntyre, who last year was the supposed to play of WWE during the pandemic. And he's up, you know, leaving for a little while. Comes back. They repackage him. He's on the show. And then they just fire him out of nowhere. Like, bro, him and his wife. Oh, that's like, cold. Wow. That's cold. Because his wife was in NXT. Wow. Yeah, that's that's all bad. So I don't know. Like we talked about it today, I don't know what to be trying to do. They they got this challenge against not challenge, but got um for the longest WWE was most was almost a monopoly. True. Like, like you saw no, right. you saw strictly, strictly WWE, WWE, but not an AW on the scene, and not Impact making the comeback. And all these other ones, like you're letting wrestlers go. Now that they're gone, they're gonna go other places and bring their fans with them. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, I'm not thinking. Yeah, and there's so there's so much you can do with the with wrestling in general. Like there are so many ideas behind it that have never been tapped into. Whether you're talking talking culturally, whether you're talking, you know, regionally, there's so much that could be done with it. That as long as somebody has the bankroll, you can make money. Easy. True. Easy. I mean, you do a half. You if, luchadors. Mm-hmm. Completely uh-huh. different. Uh-huh. Completely different. You know what I'm saying? Um, region of the world. But it's, it's wrestling. It's but it's their. You know what I mean? It's their their style. How they do it. The moves are almost the same. You know what I mean? They're almost, they are pretty much identical. There's only so many ways the human body can move and contort without breaking or bending. It's the same thing. So what would stop somebody from leaving here and going there and then making a big reveal that it was somebody from here? Like, don't you think that that would pull? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how mm-hmm. big of a draw if they went inter, like interracially mm-hmm. like that? How big of a draw business-wise that would be? I can, I can see, see that. that. You, you, you can even, even put, put that, that stuff, stuff on streaming. Stream. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, most of the WWE, WWE stuff is on Peacock. On Peacock. I, mean, I mean, you can do your doors on Peacock. And it's easier to do on Peacock. I don't know, because I've heard inklings that maybe that's why they're cutting the roster. Maybe they're thinking about selling 
to someone else, that would make sense. The roster cuts would actually make sense business wise because you're trying to show you're really profitable and seek out investors to come buy buy them out. But if it's just WWE, not NXT, because I think NXT will probably become his own his own brand, Dude, his own entity. They up on it seems WWE. like they up on the WWE. Oh, so they so that would come with them then. Oh man, that mm-hmm. sucks. Because see, like from what I've been hearing, NXT is, has been leagues above. WWE for years now, from what I've been hearing. Okay, with that being said, the secret behind that is they was under Triple H. Triple H was, you know, Triple H is married to the boss's daughter. So, with that being said, he they gave him opportunity to do some things in NXT that has never been done. Like NXT is under WWE, but they're giving them their own creative like spin on everything so right. originally when nst was made it was like a reality show for wrestlers try to if y'all remember tough enough back in the day nxt yeah. was like nick was like the next level version of tough enough so for the last few years places of nxt they have had better matches better turnouts and you know proper, proper turnouts better um views strictly because they're not doing the status quo. They're doing the same storyline over and over and over again. They're not doing the same matches over and over and over again. Each match is like a brand new match. And that's one thing that the fans like. We like something we've never seen. And we like stuff that, you know, interesting. If y'all, I bet, I bet, I'm, this is going to be so funny. Y'all. If y'all think about it, when y'all watch wrestling, when it came to the heavy hitters, they was always six foot, six foot, eight foot. Always the real big buff dudes every time when it came to like the main main stars outside of Stone Cold and Rock because they weren't always that big. They used to Except be like, for Ray Mysterio. True, Except true. Ray, he he. Okay, Ray Mysterio is is the the anomaly. Like, That's, but if you think yeah. about it, think about it like this: you had the Undertaker, you had Kane, both the foot. You had the Great Ali come out of nowhere and get a title shot. A man who really cannot wrestle, he just big for no reason. Big as shit. You had the Big Show. You had Kevin Nash. You had Tess. Like, everybody that WWE was pushing at one point of time was just huge. And we cannot hear you again. I'm not talking. Yeah. Wait, what about um Eddie Guerrero? He wasn't big. He wasn't big, big either. True. And okay. Eddie a legend. So, so, when, if you think about it, WWE is scripted. We all know this. I don't know why people say it's fake. It's not fake. Because people are really taking them hits and things. Um. Is it will be a time when they will be like, let's go off the fans. They will go off the fans. They will pick a wrestler that the fans get behind and push them. Eddie Guerrero is one of them. One of them wrestlers. I think most recently you would say Kofi Kingston was the biggest one. Kofi, yep. the man. Yeah, yeah. He literally was a backup because something happened to the own guy who was supposed to be in there, Mustafa Ali. He was a backup, and the fans got behind him so big, got him a title reign after he been in the company for eleven years, never had a shot at the title. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They marketed him pretty good, or at least they tried to. I mean, they did a good job. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I, I haven't really followed wrestling since like '03, so I'm right. probably the Dang. wrong person to talk I don't to. Blame you. I do not blame you. I, Dang, that's I, why I just really be quiet can't. this whole time because I'm like, hey, y'all talk about y'all wrestling, bro. I, when I was watching wrestling, the, the Rock and Stone Cold was the biggest thing. So that tells you. Oh, yeah, so that's been a while. Yeah. So, that's been I mean, a while. I was in Big Show and Kane and all them niggas, but that era, that was my era of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a great era. That was a great era. Yeah, yeah. I graduated high school. I don't think I ever watched watch wrestling, wrestling after, after high school. High school. Yeah. That's, that's kind of about right. right. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was co- a co- I was a sophomore in college when I stopped watching. That was 03. So wow. my friends and I wow. were dorm. So y'all stopped wow. watching before he died? Yeah. yeah. I think I came yeah. back and watched the same night. I came back I to watch that. You, I, I saw a couple matches, but like, I'm talking about watching. Like, niggas was like, okay. yo, it's 30. Thursday SmackDown, you know, it's Monday Night Raw, shit like that. Like, niggas was fucking dope. 
Just like you wait for the game, you your Monday is eight o'clock. Yeah, you know right. what time. So, high school, it was none of that. It was like, oh, the game ain't on. Let me flip on the the roll. You know, it's just like that. Like, you know, and I definitely stopped after Eddie died. No more frogs. I was like, yeah, that's yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, it was kind of tough when I like, finding yeah. that out. I was like, oh <laughs> man, I was like, wow. Because I remember Owen Hart, and then I heard about Eddie. I was like, oh mm-hmm. my God. That was. That hit a lot of people. Man, man. Oh, man. Okay. Man. 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 you seen the Dark Side of the Ring on that one? one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you get why. I didn't say that much. I think that's the same. Something happened with that. What, what, Owen? No, 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 on, on Chris and Wall. I, I thought that was good. Chris and Wall. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm not that much in like two years and years after it happened. I, people I was talking about it like, um, about it like, um, who's a big one in the internet, but, but, but like, like, you know, like, he was at that time. And it was the article on there because I went on the paper and I was my favorite wrestler. And Chris and Benoit, Benoit, the title of my wrestlers, and I was reading stuff, and I understand it. And then it was a lot of uh, accusations on the um, police report. I'm like, that makes no sense. Like, after me reading that, I'm like, there's no way he did this, and it says this in the police report. And then, right. you, like, years later, people actually start talking about it. I'm like, yeah, y'all need to, y'all need to do right by the man, because that don't sound right. Something like that. Yeah. I saw that shit through a ball. In battle rap, battle rap. I, was like, I was like, oh, that's a hard ass bar. Let me look at that accurate. And I was like, oh, I don't know if it's accurate, but that's what the, the masses believe. <laughs> me so like, technically, it's accurate because as a bar, it's accurate because that's what the consensus is. You know what I'm saying? Right. People know right. what really happened. You know what I mean? So, Cause I was, Cause I, was I was shocked too. Cause Chris Benoit is from that era that we was watching. Yeah, watching. he he was. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is one of the niggas who I I know, like I do know about this nigga. Like, right. Like, nah, bro, it's not Chris. Like, you know, he always had that that you know persona, but that was right. persona. You know, like from what I heard outside of, of the ring, the nigga was nice as hell. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And like, and like so, so, I was like, I was like. Really? Yeah, yeah, it just it just goes to show you. Just don't know what was going on behind closed doors. Sometimes you just don't know. You don't. Know. Know. You, do, you do not. You know that is mm-hmm. definitely true. Who definitely knows, true. Yeah, but yeah, if I'm, if I'm, I'm looking for interesting stuff, stuff, I would recommend watching, watching the Dark Side of the Ring. Ring Doctor has done some fights. They have some eye-opening stuff. Like they did the steroid the infamous, the infamous, the infamous flight. flight. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody was talking about, about WWE, WWE attitude, attitude era. era. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you've seen, seen that, you know what I mean. I'm not going to go into detail about that one. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a problem. I don't want to dig, dig, go down, down that rabbit hole. That was almost bad. It's not in the palace. You know what? Oh, shoot. That was that was That was a whole nother. Whole nother. Well, screw careers. This is talking about we're talking about lives and yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, man. That's it's a whole, yeah, yeah. that's a whole different. I wouldn't compare it to, they did dumb niggas. I, I don't blame, blame them, them bro. Oh, oh. And then they not, not he's a he's a people. people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If any if one, one of us got that that fight, fight, fight ain't nobody nobody would have been that bad. Right. Oh, oh. They, they just let nobody got killed that night. That's 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 guy guy here for that whole mountain mountain vibe. Someone literally got killed that night. Oh yeah. Muffle muffle on chair chair shit like they Yep. I mean, I'm that I'm I'm rolling fight fight. That that mountain mountain vibe was just a whole other level. level. That that was just. And then everything that came after that too. That's just. It was, it was optics, optics. Like, like PR, PR that's, that's a whole other rabbit, rabbit, rabbit hole we can go down, go down, go down, down. That's, that's, that's just crazy. crazy. That's just, that's just crazy. crazy. Man, man. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> well, well, we won't jump there yet. We won't jump there. <laughs> that's another day. Yeah, that's one of the days, yeah, yeah. days you, you really got to run. You got to go for if we're going to do something like that. We got to. We have to pull some pull some stuff and you know compare, but yeah, yeah, no, that's ugh, yeah, yep. Well, switches back up, switches back over as far as gears go. We were talking about music. We ended up we ended up in WWE because we were talking about uh, <laughs> the rock rapper with Tech. For those who are just now jumping in, in the end of this, <laughs> you probably thought we were on a whole WWE WWF tangent there. We were, but we weren't. Um, the reason I brought it up is there was a, another article recently uh, with Megan Thee Stallion, who th- that's that's like anime anime's like top wife at this point in our community. If you really want to go there, uh, her really? her degree that she's she's about to get her yeah 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 definitely is Def- or she got a dude mm-hmm. one of the two. But like about her getting her degree and stuff like that, and I was like, you know, I saw the article. I was like, yo, that's that's, that's what's up. That's good yeah. for her. You know what I mean? Yeah, getting I like her that. doing her thing. Yeah. And so it made me start thinking about you know all the other artists that have degrees, um, you know, or got them after they were in the in the music industry and stuff like that. And then I looked up what an honorary degree is. Do y'all know what an honorary degree is? Like yeah. actually, mm-hmm. yeah, not really. You okay. Right. It literally is a university basically recognizing their contribution to society or like it's like basically like a lifetime achievement award. Right. Is what an honorary degree is. And like don't get me wrong, some people I get it. You know, because I was looking at this, I was like, who actually has a degree? That's what because I went to go kind of look it up. Like a really oh like an act right. Yeah. Half the people have honorary degrees. Yeah. And I'm nothing against, you know, them getting that that award or anything like that. But for those who had to work, exactly. for those who put the tears in there and the sweat in there and the night right. hours and the, you know, the bags under our eyes and stuff like that, earning a PhD. I remember when Howard gave Diddy a fucking doctorate, bro. I was like, bitch. I right. was so mad. <laughs> Oh, Wait, right. they gave him a doctorate. Rick. They gave him a doctorate. Really, an honorary doctorate, doctorate. PhD, bro. I was like, and the man dropped out. Like he went to Howard for like a year, bro, and then launched Bad Boy and shit, and it blew up. So like, and you know, he's been donating to the college and all that shit, like because you know that's the best time started. But, bro, like. I'm right now. I'm getting my master's, bro. Like fighting my ass off to get my master's. And shit. This nigga got a doctorate, bro, for fucking making music. Bro. And he not even really making it. He's just a producer. He dancing in the videos. <laughs> I mean, okay. So we'll have a conversation about Come business up, acumen. Bro. Business acumen, I think, because that's where I think Diddy falls in. His sure. regardless of what anybody says. His business okay. acumen is amazing. Oh no, most that, most that. You know, oh, yeah. we we can't argue that. I guess for me, it's just you know, for those of us who who work through their degrees, or those who are working through their degrees and actually trying to you know get the knowledge and the learning like that that route, because there's always different ways to get your knowledge and your learning. You know, what I'm saying I'm not oh, yeah. here to say that you know the education path is for everybody. I'm not here to say that it's the best route for anybody. But those who choose to take that path. I believe deserve the respect of having that assignment to their name, if that yeah. makes sense. You know what I mean? And so, like, when I look to see how many the, of the rappers who have honorary degrees, not actual, but honoraries, that people I've heard for years, oh, so and so got a degree, so and so got a degree. And I'm like, no, that's an honorary degree. That's an honorary degree. That's an honorary degree. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like had to give it a little doggy head cock. Or like I don't know. How do y'all feel about that? Or what? What? Are you, what are your thoughts on something like that? It, it's uh. You probably change the title of anything. Probably change the title from honorary degree to something else. Okay, I can see that. I but it makes sense. But I mean, if they want to give them something, they say like me. 
maybe a cultural, maybe a cultural honor degree or something like that. Yeah, maybe if not. It was something specific. Yeah, I definitely understand that. Like, right. yeah, something like that. Like, I give you a good example. Like, I graduated St. John's, oh seven, uh-huh. and I remember. I don't remember who if we gave out honorary degrees that year, but I do remember the guest speaker because I fell asleep. It was um George <laughs> Stephanopoulos from ABC News. Oh wow! And he was born, so I I kind of felt I kind of zoned out. I'm not going to even lie, I, I zoned out. <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if he got like an honorary degree um, from St. John's. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But I mean, he's done a he's yeah. done a lot of stuff, so I can see like a honorary cultural degree for news. I, I can see something like mm-hmm. that. Right. Uh, yeah, so I, I definitely I agree. I agree. I think that that's something that because just saying it's an honorary, you know, PhD or something like that. I'm just like, I mean, I guess calling it honorary is what separates it. But for those, I, I think it's more it's not for those who already have the degrees. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, because most, most, I think most people are gonna know, you know. Most places that that actually are of that that level of of education, they're gonna know what that honorary degree means in general. But I guess for me, I'm thinking about the kids growing up. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. it's like it's almost like I don't know any high schooler who knows the difference between an honorary degree and a regular degree. You know what I mean? I don't know any elementary school, any middle schooler who knows the difference between an honorary and a regular degree. They think this dude went to college. You know what I mean? Whether it was after he had money or beforehand, either way. So yeah. I, I think that that distinction needs to be put out there for the youth. You know, hey, this is what they got. This is why they got it. You know, it's because of their, for example, Lil Wayne is one of them yeah. who's got an honorary degree. And I'm like, his linguistic abilities are amazing. Don't get me wrong. But Did you go through the hours of work right. that these other people did? And I'm not saying he didn't go through hours of work to get where he to get what he you know what I'm saying to get his ability. But <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people are born with it. I know a lot of little Wayne fans that would take. Uh, I love Lil Wayne too. I, I love him to death. I, lo- I love I love Lil Wayne. I'm not gonna lie. I'm old Lil Wayne. I, I like I like I like Lil Wayne. Little I, Wayne. I even, not Wayne. I even like a little bit of Wheezy X. I can see. Nah. Do give me Hot Boys era Lil this, Wayne. That's it. Is, what is he now? What what's his name now? Is mm. it back to Wayne? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. Whoever I don't know. this whoever this guy is, I I don't I don't fuck with this guy. Right now, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I don't know who he is at this point. In time. I don't he might just be a dude who has someone that has his daughter on love and hip hop, and that might be all he, he is. I don't he know. He definitely not block his hot Wayne. No, he's not. He's, he's not. not even Carter Wayne. No, nah, Carter one. Wayne was Carter Wayne. Carter three he is the best Wayne. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like all five I mean, volumes is fire. Obviously, we all yeah. know. Him. The third one is that crack. Is it is it okay. is Most definitely. <laughs> Father time undefeated. I guess if you want to say Wayne's anything right now, he's probably Washington Wizards Jordan. If you want to go that far, wow, yeah, yeah. 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 I, you know what? Yeah. I don't know. I might, I might have to give him White Sox Jordan. Ooh. No, <laughs> not White Sox Jordan. Ow. It was the White Sox, right? Yep. That's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's, Ooh, that's, like, that's free My space God. jam Jordan. <laughs> that's free space. That's right. Right. That's Damn. space jam Jordan. Like Damn. Oh. I'm just saying, bro. Listen, I'm sorry, but <laughs> but are you? But are you? I'm not. Like, I'm not. I'm but are you? I'm just saying though, like the way of this era. The way that these kids know, don't speak words. So, I mean, and we were literally talking about his linguistics. So, yeah, I, don't know, yeah. I don't know if this mm-hmm. is cutting it right now. Zim, 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 zim. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he's more so hit and miss now, more misses than hits. Yeah. 
Yeah, them drugs okay. got to them. Them drugs yeah, got to them. That's what it is, bro. So, so real quick, since we're talking, talking music, people, I got I got to throw this out there. I finally got the images working again. You ready? Y'all ready? All right. Michael Jackson. Now you know I'm about to, you know, I'm about to step on toes right now. As soon as you say that, you spring that name I was out. Fucking booming some MJ last night, bro. All right. Shit. Why was MJ so disrespectful in every video he made? Because. Because he had that yeah, he had that back, back in the day. That's what I mean. This is what I'm talking about. Cause, cause, cause cause not. Not. Every not. every video, I'm gonna walk in here. I'm gonna tell you about your girl. And yeah, my yeah. and our relationship, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then walk out with her still remembering the time. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, hey. why, Michael? Why? Why are you so rude, Michael? Why you gotta be so rude? I, I, I mean, he was the original. Um, Miss Take Your Girl. Sorry, Ray J. He, <laughs> yeah, was, was, he was Mr. Take Your Girl, definitely. He is definitely the original Mr. See, it was Take between him and, and he's doing it in front of you, is the thing. Oh. Oh. He's not like sneak linking and then at all. Oh. At all. This nigga is like, oh, that's your bitch. That's your <laughs> no, 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 no. I had no, what, her before. What, what, I'm just coming to get her back. Right. Like, what did he say, Chris Tucker? I can get the girl. <laughs> right. <laughs> <get that>. Exactly. <laughs> they can't, Michael. Watch you. No, you can't do that. My- Watch this. <laughs> Chris took out of Michael's a cup, man. <laughs> man. Michael is a pimp, bro. The nigga always had a fedora on. With the fuck always. You know? First off, first and foremost, girl, I need everybody to, to nod. I need a nod to the fedora on the real. On the real. The fedora is the brim of choice. Period. Oh. I got Hands three of things in the closet right now. That's what I'm saying. The fedora is the brim of choice. I don't care if you you, you got a hat head or not. Everybody can rock a fedora. Let me put it in. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't worn fedora. I've never worn a fedora. I've Bruh. been more of a I've been more of a fitted cap guy or can go. Get myself. a fedora. Get a fedora. It'll change your life. Just 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 get one that fits your head right too. If if, if it got to fit your head, you know, it can't just be any. It's got to fit your head. But do you get one like I'm gonna put this back up here. Look at look at Michael. Look at the fedoras that this man got on. It, it fit his head. It sit right where it's supposed to sit. Barely covered. See, look at it. Look. There, there you go. Vocab. Perfect. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me pull this up here. Ladies and gents, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. You know what I'm Got to have a crease. Got to have the tuck over the eye. It. You you can't. You can't. It, it's It's... It's a way of life. Like, like the fedora, fedora is. A, okay, we got, we're not gonna we're not gonna get on that right now. That's that cookout. For, that one was yeah, cookout. That's, that's, unk, that's definitely Michael would have been unk back in the day. Oh, okay. shoot! He'd be unk right Mike, now. Mike was that unk. He was that unk. <laughs> that's your girl. He was the uncle. That's your girlfriend. That's you. Right. That's your girlfriend. That's you. Uh, okay. That's you. Right, that's you. That's you. That's, that's you. Nephew. That's you. <laughs> Everybody got one of those. Is that you, nephew? Okay, I nephew. See you. I see you. That's why Man. I did for a long time. I had a nosy ass family. That's why I never did for a long hey. time. Oh my Everybody god. Everybody got that one. Everybody got that one. <laughs> Michael. That's you, nephew. You know he on, I know he ain't fucking you, right? <laughs> See, there you go now. Uh, there you go. Look, hey, hey, first thing he said, I told him everything he know. Not exactly. right. <laughs> right. He ain't changed his diapers. He ain't got nothing. Not nothing. <laughs> now it'd be like, yo, what's her what's her name? Like, oh, I used to mess with her mom back in the day. We used to call her blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, right, right. Oh, that's her that's so and so daughter. Oh, that wasn't oh, how old is she again? Daddy daughter from down the street. How y'all been doing? Wait, wait, how old is she again? Hey, I gotta make sure what mine. <laughs> <laughs> me and your mama. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> ask, ask, ask your mom about me. That's your mama. <laughs> you gotta do the stomp. Damn, call break me it down. <laughs> <laughs> y'all's a mess. Y'all's a mess. Y'all's a mess. Um, real quick, I want to toss this out there. If y'all did not know. Uh, there is a individual by the name of Sebastian Jones who is the, I believe, co-founder or founder of Stranger Comics. Uh, it's a um, people of color uh, comic book line, basically comic strip situation. Uh, but they do. He he's got a couple different comics out. But he just recently got partnered up with Prentice Penny 
Uh, the guy who, if I'm not mistaken, helped out with Insecure, if I'm not mistaken. Um, mm. He's a writer, he's a producer, but they are now doing, uh, they're working on two projects to bring his comic strip line to life, to the to the big screen. It's a big screen. So um, the Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer that they're working on, that's David uh, Crownson's, and then uh, Jason Weiss, I believe. But yeah, if y'all get a chance, check into that. Definitely, I'm I'm eager to see kind of where that goes. Get some uh, some color up on the screen on the screen. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah that yeah, the Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer what, was that fire. Sounds, what, that sounds, sounds, that was fire. fire. Right, right. The comic, from what I heard, was amazing. So I heard that too. If they can get that up on screen, yeah, I think he helped with Insecure, Prentice. He helped with Insecure. So yeah, we can get that on screen. That's what they're working on right now. I just want to throw that in everybody's ear. Please, please, please keep a lookout. Make sure you support uh, both of them, especially Sebastian. Man has been working his butt off. So please, please, please. Um, we all, we're always here trying to, you know, promote our own in any possible way. So if y'all got somebody y'all know, feel free to throw it, throw us the information. We'll make sure to give them a shout out. Let them, you know what I'm saying? Get, get them. If they want to come on the show. Let them know. Give us a, we'll give them a shout out, put them on the show, get them in here. So we definitely want to do that. Um, again, right. when you catch us, and I don't do this normally, but I'm going to do it today. Make sure you like us, subscribe, you know, hit the follow button. That way you can make sure you know when we go live every week because that's what we do. That mm. boop, hit them boop time. buttons. All right. So we will also be uh, I'm getting a newsletter sent out. It's going to be starting to get sent out weekly with what shows we're doing that week and everything like that. So if you're interested, uh, hit us up on any one of those platforms for right now. Not I believe coming. here it is right here. I'm going to drop it up here. You can go here as well. Put in your email address. Um, I'll get some more formal stuff together here in the next couple of days. But shoot us your email if you want to be a part of that. And we will get you together. Get you together. All right. Um. I'm gonna do a versus real quick. I want to do a versus. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna go from the verses into Rod's topic from two weeks ago that I missed and forgot. And I apologize. <laughs> and that's fighting games and the history oh, of fighting games. Okay. So we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that after this one. Uh like I said, <laughs> luckily I got my stuffs up here so we can actually do the darn thing as of now, which is great. So here is our mix up, first mix up of the night. Boom, baby. Who you got? Mm-hmm. Who mm. you got? Mm. Who? <laughs> Master I, 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 Chief, I, I, Zavala, Ikora, Clyde. What we what we looking at? I'm, I'm looking at that. Master Chief. We got Master Chief. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about, about this one because I don't know. I don't know, know, no, I only only know Master, Master Chief. Chief. Okay. Okay. So you didn't play Destiny much, did you? No, no I heard about, about Destiny, 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 but I have not, 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 not played, played it. it. Personal opinion the first one's the best one. Seven. All the way through the second one, it was good, but I think it kind of just fell off a little bit. Um, it, I think it kind of started getting going, trying to go toward Halo, is what I honestly think. Right, and right. it kind of fell. That. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> fell to the side. I will say personally, I'm gonna jump in this one. I'm a, I'm not even gonna wait on this one. It's between Clyde and Master Chief. I don't care what anybody says. The only reason I say that is because Clyde is the only one who lasted to the end, even in the Destiny verse. <laughs> He's the only one. He went out. He went out shooting. Because he was the only one who went in there trying to try and start and stuff. He was he was uh, Tombstone. I'll be your Huckleberry. You don't talk Doc Holiday. Holiday. He was Doc Holiday. Holiday. Hey, Doc <laughs> hey, if you hey. haven't seen hey, Tombstone, if you haven't seen go Tombstone, see Tombstone. Okay. go see Tombstone. That's Head a whole other conversation. West, yes, down the best Western movie period. Period. <laughs> mm. I think it's second to Magnificent Seven. That's just my personal opinion. I haven't seen him next week. I ain't seen him if you talk about it. Oh, you gotta so see Magnificent Seven. That, this, if nothing that, else, watch the new one. The new one's got Denzel in it. 
That's cheating. So if nothing that, else, at least watch that, the that, new that, that's one. That's cheating. No, no, no. The new that's one has Denzel. Though. That's cheating, though. The old one is still, I think, better than Tombstone. I still think the first Magnificent Seven is better than Tombstone. It, it's a, it's like one of them. It's one of them neck and necks. So like certain aspects okay, are better okay. than others type deal. It's one of those situations. I'm gonna put it like this: if we doing the West Universe, I don't care who wins. Doc wins. And I oh no, we talking about character wise. Doc Holiday is Doc Holiday. <laughs> right, I'm sick, sick Doc. doc. <laughs> Touche, touche. Yeah, no, Doc Holiday is Doc Holiday. It that that's a whole other situation. But yeah, it'd be between Chief and Clyde, I think personally. That's just me. What you got, Vocab? I got, I got Chief. Chief. You got Chief? Oh, I okay. Man, hold, on. I, I, hold on. Vocab said Chief, but you cannot say Chief. You play I, I am a oh, <laughs> I am too. I'm Sony all day, but I'm still gonna be like, yeah, I'm, I'm you you like, like Halo is Halo I is am one of the goats. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And I'm and giving, I'm giving your ex motherfucker the win, so you better appreciate that shit. <laughs> okay. I mean, what's the saying? Game recognized game. Game recognized game. And I saw yeah, exactly. the list. I said, "Oh, Jay gonna fucking have a ball with this one," because it's yeah. not even close to me. It's, not. it's Master Chief clear to me. I didn't finish this. I mean, I think Clyde. I think Clyde will give Chief a run for his money just because he's a hole. A it would be a good fight. fight. Chief It'd be on some red versus blue type stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah, that show. It would be on red. It would be on some red versus blue type stuff. I'm not gonna lie. So, all right. So let's get into it. We're gonna talk about fighting games. Fighting games historically. Fighting games. What? What is it that brings us to these magnificent creations <laughs> That's that a we good all question. love? <laughs> <laughs> that we all love. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you what it really is, and it's Go sad, and it. it's sick, and it's twisted. It's sad, sick, and twisted. <laughs> okay, okay. Face you all. Just get the urge to punch somebody in the fucking face. I can't you know argue what? with that. I cannot argue oh. with that. I will not my hand. I, I would prefer doing beat em ups for that, but they don't make those as much as they used to. This is also true. It's also true. God of War, the original, like three or four, were straight. I just want to murder something. We're gonna do it this way. Yeah, yeah. That's why I, I was happy Streets of Rage four come came out, but I don't want to talk about fighting games right now. But that was just oh, my Streets thing. of Rage. My bad. Hey, I lagged out. Mm. <laughs> no, you good. You good. But what I was saying though is that no matter how nice you are, everybody gets the earth to punch someone in the fucking face, man. This is and true. Then see that. Games, you can nice. use that urge without going to jail for assault. True. 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 Virtual 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 what y'all remember virtual about that one? Virtual oh, I know. 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 I the I Virtual Fire know. franchise. I know. I know. I Okay. My, 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 my PlayStation Two. Uh-huh. The first, first game, game my mom bought me was, was Virtual Fighter, Fighter, Fighter Four and Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. Okay. Oh, Tenkaichi. No, no, my Tenkai 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 for back then, when it came back out, then? yeah, Where's Where's the the yeah. I don't know. The I can see that. I can oh, see I that. Used, I just get the injury. I can't remember his name. I don't remember the name. Well, I used to. I used to rope rope with him. This was another one. This was another one. Yeah, it was fan service all day long. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, it was straight fan service. But it was the game. The fights were actually legit in there, though. Like the fighting in it was actually not bad. For our for our individual earlier, we had the the DBZ. I'm a DBZ fighter part fan personally. 
I went from Budokai. I couldn't really mess with anything else until Fighter, but that's only because I'm a Marvel vs. Capcom I'm fan. Away. Exactly. I'm walking away. I'm walking and so you can walk away walking all away. you want. All that flying around and all that stuff. Give me my two, three characters. Give me my super moves. Let's go. Heads up. Heads up. I've been, been slow learning, learning the story, on the story mode, mode, but, but, but I, I got to finish, finish this. this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I just, I just got, got, I just got, got Vegeta. Vegeta. <clears throat> that's how that's slow, slow I've been going. Wow. Okay, so what's your what's your what's your what's your take? What you got? What's that? Tenkai is that Tenkai or Budokai? I can't see it. Budokai Tenkai G three. Budokai Tenkai three. That's a lot of people. Budokai Tenkai G three. Is okay. So which one is the one where they had a dragon rush where you had to rotate the the sticks? Uh, all Budokai Tenkai. All Budokai Tenkai Gs. All of them did no, because it was that it was one of them where it came out and then they took it out the next one. So. I it, 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 one, one, two, 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 so it was one, one and three. three one and three. Okay, okay. Those two I was cool with. Those two I was cool with. But then after that, whatever they did after that, this it, was the last great Dragon Ball Z game until Fighters. Until Fighters. Okay. Yes. I I completely agree. I'm not even even oh, the Kakarot okay. game. Ultimate Kaiji was, was a travesty of a Dragon Ball Z game. <laughs> if you never played it, don't. He said it's not worth it. It's not, not worth it. it. It's, it's not, not worth it. This that they used it for. Wow. Damn. Damn. Wow. Um, Battle, Battle 22, 22 wasn't bad. Uh, Raging, Raging Blast, they had opportunity to miss it. Okay. I literally only got played was because it was it another. Raging Black was a Dragon, Dragon Ball Z movie, movie that they turned to a game. game. Okay. And that was the that one that had plans to eradicate the thing. Right? That was that, that one? one? I think so. Like, okay. I think Raging Blast was the one, the first. Raging Blast 1 and 2 and Ultimate Tech IU was the first Dragon Ball Z games on Xbox. We didn't have a lot of other Dragon Ball Z games. True. Yeah, was, they they were the only only back then. Now, nah, once Budokai Budokai was the first one that like that that was it. After Budokai, I stopped until Fighter. Like, I played him, and I was like, "Yep, nope, I'm good." <laughs> but the thing about Budokai Tenkaichi Three, it had a system there to where if you start it, um, you go to a certain menu and you hit it, and you put one of the older Dragon Ball games in and play one of the, put your character. And play that sword mode on there. Oh wow! Now that I did. Oh know. wow, that's pretty not cool. A of, not a lot of people knew that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dropping knowledge for those of you who don't know. This is why I think Fighters is the best of the entire series, because of this game right because, here. Because it, yeah. Marvel vs. Yeah. Capcom. I'm a, I preferred three personally. I preferred three, but two is a is two and three are up there. I feel that. Okay, I can respect that. Okay, so you a Mega Man fan? Hardcore? Yeah. I, yeah. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like Mega, Mega Man, but but I like playing with Mega Man, Spider Man. So ah, got you. Okay, okay. Spider Man, Spider Man. It was one game. That was one of them. was one of them beef games. Oh yeah, this is another one of those beef games. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is another one of those beef games. I think Rod was the one who brought this one to me. He was like, "Yo, is this cons- this count?" I was like, "I think it counts, but I want to, I want to, I would like to hear somebody give me an argument for why this falls into the same category as things like what we've just been looking at, DBZ and all that." Like, why? They they literally have, have a catchphrase: "Sell it in Smash." Exactly. Smash Bros. One of the you got to think right. about it. It came out on the Nintendo 64. Right. right. Yes. One of the best systems the, ever. The first four <laughs> player console. Yeah. Yep. So not just you and your homie. You, your homie, your brother, your cousin. All y'all fighting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then the, 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 and the, the fact that now it's like 20 people you can do at a time. Man. You can do like twenty man fights man. now, I think. No, you can do like twenty man tournaments. Tournament, tournament, tournament. Eight people playing at the same thing. Okay, okay, 
Okay. And y'all heard they just added Sora finally as the last. Yeah, yo, that, that was a beautiful, 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 beautiful trailer. Trailer. Yeah, I want to get a switch now. Really? <laughs> Why? Yes. Why? Me, okay. Me, I'm not your average Smash Bros. Like I only play with my friends, come over and mm-hmm. bring it. But I like picking the underdog. I like picking some of the worst players, someone that I can play a game with the worst player and do some damage. So, right, right. Let's see if y'all can guess who I pick. Who do you think I pick? Pichu. Ooh. Nah, Pichu's OP. Mm. Uh, the Ice Climbers. Sonic. Nope. That's my main. Vocab again. Win a vocab. See, I, I would say Ness, but Ness is okay. not Ness bad. is OP. Yeah, right. Uh, this okay. is not bad. I'm get, this is the hint. He has no recovery. Little Mac. Oh my Lil god. Mac. <laughs> oh my god. I play with Little Mac. Literally, every time I play, I play with Little Mac. I might go and pick Falcon or um, Lucario. Falcon is my guy. Falcon is legit. Yeah, that was guy. that was who so, I first played with was Falcon. Falcon. When he first, when he first came out was on um, Meta Knight. Meta Knight. Oh, <laughs> oh, Meta Knight was <laughs> broken when he came yeah, out. He, he was broken. Yeah, he was legit but I didn't know that. I didn't know. I don't play like that. But nice like OP. Yeah. All right. But, so, but Smash, but Smash is a good. I think I'll be interested in what they do with that franchise after Ultimate because my honest opinion, it should be a fighting game that just celebrates the history of gaming. If you look at that roster, you got Sora from Kingdom Hearts, you got Mega Man, you have Simon Belmont from Castlevania. I mean, you guys. You got Cloud, Sephiroth, Mario, Luigi, Sonic, Solid Snake of all people. I mean, like, is it so like I'm a who's who of game gaming? So I'm about to take y'all back. They they so since oh y'all talk God. about those other ones, I had to bring y'all Where, back bro, bro, bro. real quick. Yes. yes. Thank, thank you, Mama. Fatal Fury. This one, this one missed me. That oh. game right there, I didn't get into it as much as some people did. I, it was it was a good for the era game, a good for the time period, but I was more I would have been more here. Bloody I think Roar. this deserves a remake. Bloody Roar, where you transformed into the animals and stuff. Right, right, right. Y'all know me. I'm a werewolf person to the day I all die. Day. All day. <laughs> I still so ability, I right. So the ability to turn into a werewolf mid fight. And yeah, keep yeah. going, that, that. yeah, bro. It's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. I, there's no competition. There's no conversation right there. That game, uh, oh, Guilty oh, Gear. For those who don't know, here. this game here is. It would be the comparison. I would think it was a Japanese comparison to Street Fighter. To be honest, yeah, yeah. that's what it is. It's the Street Fighter equivalent uh, for Japan. Same storyline, roughly. Same fighting styles in general. Um, excuse me. Not as blocky. More okay, old okay. school. It still stays more to the old school, um, like the original 2D fighting games. So, two games away, me, and that's to this day. That's to this day. Um, the other one, now this one. I'll go ahead and bring Ooh. this one up here. Yes, yes, Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur. Yes, yes. Right, right there. Kill, Kill it. it. My God. Oh, yes. Okay, so I have a question. Go ahead. Six. I have played six like that. I have you played, played five? five? I played play five. five. I played yeah, six. I played five. Okay, okay. I played I five. five. Do you know what, what I, did I did on five to make it so much fun of me? What? what? I made man and make characters on five. five. I, yep, a lot of people did that. So, so I, I made Nightmare, Nightmare. I turned turn him into Ichijo. Ichijo. Okay, okay. I made Natsu turn into the Sasuke. Okay, okay. Of course, of course everybody about my turn match into, into um, Rock Lee. Right, right. Yeah. Clearly. And that made the game so much more fun. That, that. I can see that. Sounds like you were doing jump forces before boy jump force forces came out. Pretty, Pretty much. much. Pretty much. Well, no, nah, oh, um, which comes out before that? J Star was out before that. 
Oh, oh J Star. J Star. J Star was definitely up before that. Now, well, okay, what do y'all think about J Star and Jump Force? That whole situation. Missed opportunity. opportunity. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Okay. Okay. How so? Based, Based on, on how, how, it was, how it was marketed and how, and how it was, that was, that was set, set up. Set up. Set up. Okay. Because I'm not sure. Like, I didn't play Jump Forces, but was a lot of the English voice actors used for these games? Because I know the My Hero yeah. Academia fighting games, they just used the Japanese cast. So I'm not sure if it was the same thing for um, Jump Forces. I'm Jump not 100% Forces sure. Is, 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 is so. So you got all um, all Japanese voice actors. Yeah, oh, man, that's kind of disappointing. That's kind of that's kind of disappointing. Know. I think more I think more people would have bought if the dub af- actors were in the game. If they were mm-hmm. in the game, like I can yeah, see that. I, so I can see. I see that. I played Jump Force. Uh, I love Jump pros Force. Pros and cons of Jump Force. I love it. I love it. Don't get me wrong, but. Thinking about the mechanics behind it, it's a lot of stuff that they missed on it. That they will make the game so much more oh yeah playable. Because if I'm sitting there fighting you and you hit your ultimate move, it's only one way I ultimate move. Well, two ways technically. Either they miss or you block it. Mm-hmm. But I feel if anybody's played Naruto you just throwing, I feel like it's up Naruto has multiple ways to get out the move. Either they miss yeah. You substitute, they block like stuff like that. Right, right. But you can't sub. You can substitute out. They you have to actually block it. You're gonna make it like a sub. But they missed on that. They also missed on the transformations. A lot of them were good. A lot of them suck. More more suck than were good. But at the but, same time, I mean, you got to remember the like when this came out as well. Like you gotta remember, this Jump was Force? released what twenty fourteen. Jump Force? Yeah, no, J Star. Talking about J Star. Oh, J Star. That J-Star? was J Star was twenty fourteen. Like... Yeah. Okay. Sure? Yeah, that was only what DS only. Was that was that a DS only game? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, it was on PS three. I know. I got it on PS three, but I got it late. Mm. Yeah, March yeah. twenty fourteen. Yeah, it was on. Yeah. Okay, so what you're thinking about is Jump Ultimate Stars on DS. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and that's the thing, like, I think I think Jump Force had oh. the ability to be J-Star, to be a better J-Star, and I think that's why the, it got the hype that it did, is because people so, were thinking that it was going to be that. The game I'm thinking about came out in 2005, Jump Superstars. That was oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there you go. I know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, either I mean, way, you would think that. Good. Yeah, yeah. But you would think that they would have fixed those things from those two games. I mean, you had jump, you had J Star, and he Jump Force, and it's like we were expecting mm-hmm. Jump Force, the new one, to be this. They fixed everything else type situation. You know what I mean? Like that's what we were hoping for, and I don't think we got that in those situations. Mm-hmm. Like there was a lot. It was a lot of spammable moves, a lot of repeatable moves. Everybody had the same combinations. Like there was so much room for growth, and I think that I, I don't know. For me, like I, okay, so we didn't talk about everybody's favorite game pretty much except for one. So I'm going to throw this in here first and then we'll switch hey, over. Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Mortal Kombat. No, no. This right here is what they missed, I think. The button combinations. Like, I'm not even a Mortal Kombat fan. I'm not. Honestly, can't stand the franchise. That's just my personal opinion. Because of the the button. I hate the button combinations. That's just me, though. Right? I also didn't grow up on Mortal Kombat. I find that a lot of people... There he is down there with the MKXL. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have one game they grew up with when it comes to fighting, and that's the chain they stay on. It was either Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, or Tekken. Those were the three veins that most of our generation grew up in. As far as as like their first fighting game. Um, 
that has lasted through time, right? True. Because there, there's other ones, but I think those. But each one has a unique fighting style. Each one has a unique button combination style, and I think Jump Force had that ability because it mixed the two. It mixed like Street Fighter with some of the combinations from Mortal Kombat. That's my that's my mm-hmm. personal take on it with Jump Force and Jump Star. Mm-hmm. They could have easily made those button combinations for each individual character so much more intricate. Like, and I think that's kind of why I like Tekken. Like, I'm a Tekken head till I die. Oh. Hey, hey, so, I have a question. But like having those abilities, I, I think that question. they could have they could have upgraded. Go for it. So I want each one of y'all to answer so, this. So I find my answer. I want each one of y'all to answer this. So I find my answer. Make a good fighting game to you. Of each. What makes mm. the fighting game? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Can I can I piggyback you before we answer? Mm-hmm. Can I piggyback piggyback before you answer? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, we ready. Hold up. Sorry, I was switching the image. <laughs> My bad. Switching images. K- K- I-, I think I think this is the perfect conversation to have about this with this game. Killer because Killer I feel Killer Instinct. <laughs> When it came back, should have terrorized the market. Oh, it should have terrorized the market, but did not. It flopped. So, right, ultra, ultra, (laughs) right, like should have terrorized the market, but it did not. So, I'll go let everybody go ahead and go, and then I'll go right before uh, Infamous does. But go ahead. What makes a good fighting game? Mm-hmm. I think, I think I, what made me fight fight is, 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 how, is how, much how much skill, skill it takes take to so And the, the move, move available. So, 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 like, like you got a not a good but if you have, have combos or different, different kinds of things of fight. fight. Not not just, just teams, teams, you know, you know, some of them, but but I think I think that means the fight fight in the the variety. Okay, real quick. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Spirit Detective who just followed us on on Twitch. I just saw this. Mm-hmm. My bad for not saying something earlier. So appreciate you jumping in and watching us. Feel That's free to uh, What's check up, us out man? on Facebook and also That's Twitter. My boy. What's up, man? So yeah. Appreciate it, appreciate it, most def. Feel free to jump in the chat too. If you got questions, you want to throw something at us, let us know. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. Go for it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Hmm. I'm I'm trying to I'm really thinking about this. What makes a good fighting game? That is a very loaded question for in my honest yeah, man. I think so, many, so many hours. Your yeah, yeah. You are very see. right. That is loaded. I would think probably like you guys mentioned like combo system, butt mashing, things of that nature. That's why Marvel vs. Capcom or the Versus series in general was so popular because the moves were pretty easy to pull pull off. Okay. I would even say something. Even I've been playing Mortal Kombat 10 a little bit recently myself, 10 and 11. I saw the story modes on YouTube, but uh, I've never actually played. But it's not too bad. It's the buttons are a little bit more better, I think, in in 10 and 11 than I remember back in the day. But in the story scene, everything seems to be good story wise. But I think a good fighting game that you have good mechanics. Some might argue even tournament aspect. I mean, think about a lot of the fighting games that you see, like Evo, things like that. Yes. Or even markability, like, is a character popular? Is a character good? I mean, we were talking about Smash earlier. Look how many fighting game reps were in Smash. Ryu, right. Ken. Yeah. Um, I forget the guy's name Crossover. from Tekken. Yeah. I forget the guy's name from Tekken. But fun fact, when we're speaking fighting games... If we're talking about characters that have been in the most crossover games, it's actually Ryu. If you think about it, he's been in almost every oh, fighting yeah. series except, I every. think, Mortal Kombat. I think except Mortal Kombat. He's been in every fighting game series. He's not been in Tekken yet. We got Akuma, though. So it's almost the same thing. Oh, Akuma. okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. that. We got Akuma I, in Tekken. Akuma's that guy. 
No, but Akuma got a fix with Tekken. I can kind of see more you do Akuma with Tekken and Ryu. I, I can actually see that. That yeah. makes more sense. Yeah. That makes more sense for them. Yeah, yeah. But Ryu's been in a lot of crossovers. I mean, yeah, Capcom versus K. You got like the Smash. Mm-hmm. Marvel vs. Capcom, even almost Mega Man in a lot of ways been in a lot of crossover games too, if you think yeah. about it. Wasn't Mega Man in Tekken, if I'm not mistaken? Wasn't he like a playable character in Tekken? Like, no. Or like a joke character? Maybe I'm thinking of another series. I can be thinking of another fighting game It's series. a different series, but yeah, no, nah, he wasn't in that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think they made him as like a joke character, and I know people were pissed off about that. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen him in one, but yeah. Yeah, I, like, like I said, I vaguely remember they had like the bad box art Mega Man in a fighting game, in a Capcom fighting game. It wasn't Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. I, I can't remember. I'm, I remember there was a big controversy about it. Like, why did okay you want to put Mega Man in, but you're going to use the worst representation of Mega Man as a Dan? Yeah, that that yeah. wasn't cool. But then that's just Capcom and their stupidity. That's another rant for another day. Because that is very true. <laughs> very very yeah. true. Capcom, same thing with Konami. We can that's them two you could probably do together, actually, be quite honest. Yeah. Yeah. But the circle back to what I was saying about good fighting game. I think marketability, characters, movesets. I think even nowadays, maybe esports viability, I would say it's probably more important nowadays. Okay. Cause I mean you see like like I said, I mentioned Evo. I mean I mean I've seen people getting excited. Like I know this is a this is not fighting games, but even Pokemon was. I mean, people getting excited for like esports for Pokemon Unite. They even took it. Turn, they even turned Pokemon Go into an esports. So that should give you an so, idea how big esports are, are getting. Which I heard, I heard about Pokemon, 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 Pokemon fighting game. game. No. 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 They didn't. They broke in. They broke in. But that's, that's about, about it. it. No, that's no, about no. it. No. 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 I don't. No, I do not. No. I do not. Competitive? Yes. Fighting game? No. No, no. Exactly. I, I can see Pokemon, Pokemon but, that, but, that, but that's, that's about, about it. it. That's, that's about, about it. it. Now, if they turn Pokemon into something like Tekken or like Killer Instinct, I'd be all for it. To where you're actually fighting as the Pokemon. That's what Pokemon, Pokemon probably should have been. Like, that's, that's what I, that's like, even at Stadium, like when Stadium came out, that's what I was hoping for. We didn't have the graphics for it back then, but we have them now. That's all I'm saying. So if anyone's listening, (laughs) make a a game where I can be uh, Pikachu, I can be Gengar. Gengar, You know what I'm saying? Like, Uh, and actually run around (laughs) the screen and fight. It would be amazing. Yeah, I, I... I would, I would say, say just pray, pray that, that the legend, legend Arceus, 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 Arceus does well, well because, because maybe you might, might get that, get that, because, because the, the player character, character can, fight, can, fight, can fight Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. So, so you, you might, might you're almost there. there. You're right. almost there. So, okay, yeah, I mean, okay. Just if you got a switch, just copy. That way they know. Okay, people want this. You might get. You might get your Pokemon fighting game you want. You might get it. Yeah. I mean, think about the number of Pokemon out there now, especially. It's a lot. Wait, there are stop. a lot. Wait, that that it's about as many Pokemon be, games as it is episodes be. of One Piece. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Actually, no, no. Still more episodes no, no, of One no, Piece no, than no. Pokemon. I think it's still more no. episodes of One Piece I than Pokemon. Almost. I said almost. Yeah, yeah almost. I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah, yeah, but congrats from One Piece on getting, getting to a thousand. Can I give them props. We're over a thousand. We're over a yeah. thousand now. So we're over a thousand. Oh, yeah, it's only already happened. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Damn, I wanted to see this special intro they had for episode one thousand. I heard it was pretty. I I heard they were making a special intro just for that episode. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They did. They definitely did. It was worth it. Okay, okay. So, sports games, and I'm actually gonna use this ki. Is how? Oh, say it again. Eight point three nine nine eight 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 ninety eight. So they two hundred off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I love Killer Instinct growing up. Mm-hmm. Like short of Tekken 3, Killer Instinct was my ish. I love it. Uh contrary to 
what most people would think after me saying I'm a werewolf person. I did not use Saber Wolf, who's the werewolf. That was actually my brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did not use Saber Wolf. My characters were Cinder and Glacius. That's why I, I did do Cinder. Cinder was hot lava and yeah, Glacius yeah. was straight yeah. ice. Yeah. Like, those are those are characters. <laughs> but exactly, yeah, yeah. those are my two characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, then my other brother was uh, Raptor, Griptor, the Raptor. Mm-hmm. But we go, yeah, we go head to head. But uh, a fighting game, what makes a good fighting game? I agree with almost everything. Actually, I agree with everything you all have said so far. Uh, marketability is definitely one, just because, of course, you gotta you gotta make the money. Um, exactly. Evo marketability in this day and age is for longevity. If you can get something that everybody's gonna want to play on a professional level, that brings more money to you hands down it may bring oh, more longevity even after new new series come out you know what i mean it, allow, it allows you to go and also gives you the opportunity to possibly bring out more and more in a, ser- in a particular series as far as mechanics go though i am still i'm a firm fan of it's actually it's funny uh rdc world shout out to them because they are oh, legit amazing. they are amazing. legit uh, RDC World, World One. They did a, a clip recently where they had a uh, Ryu was fighting against everybody else in the other other verses. So they had yeah. Ryu, you saw that as like Ryu versus Street Fight versus um, so what was it? Street Fighter gameplay, Street Fighter gameplay, and play, Street Street Fighter game play, game, yeah, gameplay, gameplay, taking gameplay. Yep, and he showed it's like, oh man, y'all can't do nothing. So he went in there and beat everybody until Kazuya and Tekken came over here yeah, yeah. and sidestepped yeah. him. And whoop yeah. his head. Yeah. <laughs> he needs some milk. Like that's what happened to him. No, he got him in the corner. You're right. Got him up against the wall and yeah. waylaid him. So I think, uh, and that's actually something I want to talk about. I had, had it in here to talk about too. Is the game mechanics like uh, multi-level fights, being able to go through the boards. You know what I mean? Uh, being able to break the fourth wall on stuff. Uh, being able to that that z directional is amazing like have being able to kind of sidestep around and actually use the entire arena to your advantage get out of the corner that mm-hmm. right there is that is epic if you added that right. to any other fighting game Crazy. it would multi, it would amplify it by you know what i mean exponentially mm-hmm. think about more think about mortal kombat think about how mortal kombat plays if they could just sidestep in those arenas that would be scary it would be because it makes the arena that much more dangerous now, especially yes. like when you're over pits and stuff. Yes. Like you can sidestep, but only so far. You know what I mean? You sidestep too far, you you, you fall in. Yeah. You gotta try to catch yourself on the on the edge. It adds a whole new dynamic. But a, a, the ability to use the environment, <laughs> the, the ability to use the environment is is amazing. One, um, it actually didn't get started. Because uh, I did, I did a little research as, as we were talking about this to kind of see that didn't really get introduced until like the mid '90s. Like the first sets were just that one-on-one, mm-hmm. you know, head-to-head fighting mm-hmm. game. But they started back in '76. Like think about, it. think about the graphics and anything in '76. Period. First off, you know what I mean? Atari. Yeah. yeah, like that's that's at way back when. You know what I mean? I had it. Um, uh, if you think about what was it, Mike Tyson Punch Out? Yep. Yep, oh. that was like 80s, if I'm not mistaken, late 80s, mm-hmm. early 90s, something like that. But that that was late really 80s. the first time no, we no saw late 80s, yeah. So, it was like, yeah. that was the first time you really saw the ability to move side to side and up and like more than one direction, you know what I mean? You could move mm-hmm. in all four directions at that point in time to dodge stuff, but it was on a different, it was on a different normal access, axis, you know what I'm saying. But having that having having that in there is one key thing to me personally. Of course, your super moves, your uh, button combinations, making them so that they're not too difficult, but they're difficult enough to where if somebody wants to master it, they gotta work. Right. You know, sure. uh, having you gotta have your spam characters in there because that gives that that one time player somebody to play with. You know, they oh I can just jump on the six and try to try it. Everybody's got a certain set of combinations. Uh, that works for everybody, but there are these extra things that that go along with it. So, uh, prime example, one of my favorite uh fighting game personalities is Lamajan. 
like I told you before, I'm a Tekken fan till I die. Yeah. And my character is King, which for those of y'all who don't know Tekken, he's a wrestler King. with a Jaguar mask on that tears mm-hmm. through anybody if you know how to play with him right. Lil Majin, and I, hate, I may try I, to find some footage later if y'all want to. That's disrespectful. Hey. Right. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> because you don't because you don't Panda is a character in, in Tekken 2. That's just very true. But but yeah, so I think that's I guess in a, in a nutshell, those things combined are what make it. But also not only that, but the ability, the replayability of the game. So storyline is 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 a must because I'm still a writer. Storyline is definitely a must within the game. Right. Um uh, Replay playability of the arcade mode of a game, different things you can unlock. Um, one thing with Tekken that they do is you can go through and like upgrade different items. You you win coins for you know, different ornaments and stuff like that that you can you know saying you can upgrade your character with. Doesn't change his, the damage or anything, just cosmetically, but it gives you something to do as you're going up. You get to you get to rank up the character and your abilities with that character so that way when you go online and play, they have a general idea of okay, this person should know what they're doing with this with this character and you don't just go in there and beat up a little kid for no reason. Like I I like that. Uh, in no, there. go beat up the little kid for <laughs> all the reasons. I will beat up a little kid in, in a video game. Shit. I am that exactly. person. I'm not going to lie. The most shit, <laughs> I am not going to lie. Go I am that person as well. Because they kids these days are reckless. They the parenting is different these days. What? They wasn't raised the same. So somebody gotta put some fire under their butt. So yeah, yeah, some, sometimes it's just it's just we have parents who are our age now or younger right. that, that they they don't remember what it's like to be. They didn't get humbled enough as a kid, in my honest opinion. Yeah, too. yeah. Okay. So, but uh, comparing putting that in with Killer Instinct, and I'll end it with this. Combine that with Killer, Killer Instinct had the storyline day one. It had the storyline. It had the characters. It had the effects. It had everything to keep Combos. up with Mortal Kombat. What it didn't have Combos. was the traction. Like it didn't have any other games that came out between what ninety one, ninety three, something like that, ninety four maybe, and two thousand and twelve. I think when Xbox One came Ooh. out, Ooh. because it was a release. Really, yeah, it, it was some years, you know. So people lost. They lost it. If you didn't grow up with it, you didn't know about it. And so when they pulled it out as a fighting game, and then also being able to unlock characters is a must. Right, right. Being able to play the game and unlock characters and not having to buy every single character in a game is a we must. Do not condone micro because that's the other thing that killed Killer, Killer Instinct. We do not condone microtransactions for stuff like that. Like anything else, I don't care. But give me my characters at least. Let me get my characters. You know what I'm saying? The four or five extras, cool. I would, I I know people who would have paid to get uh what's his name, uh Akuma. I can get that. He's not a normal Tekken character. Pay right. to get him. Pay to get Noctis. He's not a normal Tekken character. I get that. Everyone that's part of the game, give me that. With Killer Instinct, all the main characters you couldn't get. Like I understand skins and stuff, but y'all made us pay for the actual characters, and that's a no no. Like okay. I should be able to fight my way through. Easy. You know, and that's something they took away, and I think that that's what killed, when especially when with the Xbox first coming out, like we already spent money on this system. This is the first one of two games you're releasing as an exclusive on this brand new system, and then I gotta pay you more to get more characters. And you're talking to a generation who don't know Killer Instinct. Right. That was yeah. dumb. That was dumb. So bad marketing, bad marketing, right. bad PR. Completely, completely. Well, other than that, though, it it, it could have went. They even put they put battle toads in there. Like they even reached back and pulled some other ones. Love I was that. like, "Yo, okay, let's rock with this." Okay, Nothing. I can see paying like two, three dollars for battle toads. That sounds cool, right? You should understand, but a character like that, yeah, because he wasn't part of the main cop, but he was. Well, yeah, wasn't part of the main for main and Cinder and Save Wolf, right? And- for paying for the main people that was already in the game, yeah. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's like with all the Smash Brother DLC characters. I mean, they're not needed. A lot of them are not traditional characters in fighting games anyway. So kind of exactly. See your point. Like some people might pay five dollars for Sora, but they're not going to pay five dollars for maybe Meta Knight. I don't know. Yeah, Meta Knight. Exactly. Right. I they're not going to pay five dollars for Pikmin or the Ice Climbers. 
Unless you got those people who just want hollow, everything. Right in front of us. And he did. He went case. hollow, and I'm kind of scared of that's the reason why. So, all right. This, this was this was your, your question, so go ahead and take the floor. Go What's ahead, up? Floor, okay. Uh, honorable mention to Power Stone, if y'all never played. One of my favorite. Oh, yeah, that was a good series. Guy. That was one of my great, favorites. Great series. Yes, sir. Um, Ready to Rumble, boxing. Yeah. Go. Another good one. Dreamcast era. And yep. y'all consider That's wrestling cool. games as fighting games. I actually had that coming up here, too. So yes. let me go ahead and drop I that in. I don't think so. Depending on the game, to, maybe. To, Depending on the game, my, maybe. My, my, my isolation to my, my own points comes from the film. Maybe that did not come to mind. Oh, no, no. I was just bringing it up. I was just bringing it up for you while you were talking. Okay. So, with me, what makes a great fighting game is the versatility of the game. Can mm-hmm. I play this game today, tomorrow, in three weeks, and not do the same thing and win? Mm-hmm. Um, of course, the storyline, if it has one. Yeah, that has one. And the creativity. The reason what do you why mean? Creativity is because. When we're playing these games, we're pitching the person as ourselves. True. Right? True. But my reason for wrestling being one of my favorite fighting games, you can make yourself a game. You okay. You can make yourself to the point you can pick every last move. There's over a thousand wrestling moves, period. You can pick every last move. You can pick how to match them, though. You can pick your person attributes. You can to the point you can do the tattoos by hand. It's very creative. Okay. When y'all play certain games, I'm trying to think. Uh, it was more time that we create your own character. One there was favorites. one. Yeah. Uh, was it Deception or Daily Lines? I don't know. It wasn't that one. But it was, uh, and <laughs> I, I feel like that made the game so much more fun that I had my own character. When, um, I can see that. When the universe came out, when you yeah, get yeah. your own character, yeah. do your own thing, because you ain't got to worry about somebody doing, doing the same thing you're doing. Right. No way they're going to have everything they that thing. So you're, you're thinking more Def Jam Vendetta. Oh, my Def God. Jam. That was a whole, that was a whole great game. The game, probably one of the most perfect fighting fight games yeah. without like, like powers. Yeah, that, that I agree. That I agree. Because it had the the whole dynamic. It, had, it was three dimensional. You move mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. It had different moves that. Oh my god! Armageddon. 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 It also had the um the fact that you could spam. But if you're right. playing somebody good enough, it, it don't, don't matter. Yeah. It has yeah. super moves. Every game has super moves. Move. Of course. Oh, okay. It's Bob a game. Fight, it's it's always always got a special special move. Yeah. But, but the creativity, just, just because, because I like putting put myself in on them positions, made my game so, so much better. Much better. Side yeah. note real quick. hate to interrupt. What if you could do <laughs> the Dempsey role in a character in like a fighting game, like if you can I make your own boxer, and you can do a Dempsey role. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought about you saying that. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. But uh, I love, I love fighting game. Fighting game is my favorite. Yeah. Beforehand, I, you know how I feel about two K fighting yeah. games. Okay, yeah, two K fighting. Wrestling is, yeah. is one of my favorites. So I'm not mad at it. If you think about it, the, the top games that, that are non-nostalgic, the newer ones, like like Naruto, Naruto you know, mm-hmm. Jump Force is getting a little cloud, not as much as it could have. Yeah. Um, Fire Z, Fire Z is a great game mm-hmm. because it took from Street Fighter and oh, um, yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom. Yep. But if you look at Naruto, Naruto is a great game. game. It is very versatile. It don't have a creative aspect I would like, but very, very versatile. Yeah. You're not, not going to win the same way every time. Right, right. I'm assuming you're talking about Shinobi Strikers. 
Or Ninja no, Storm. No. Which one are you talking about? Ninja Storm. 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 Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Like Why? Okay. okay. This is more of a team game. It's okay. like 444, I think. I had it. Remember, I had it. <laughs> you don't know. Okay. It's 3v3. Like, like, yeah, Ninja Storm is 3v3. 3v3. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the YouTube, YouTube videos, 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 videos of it. it. So, so it, can, it can be three, 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 three so this is something we still have not answered. What makes something a fighting game? We have not. No one has answered that question yet. And I'll point to this. Hmm. Good so, question. Because we actually we keep asking, you know, does Pokemon that. count? Does Shinobi Strikers count? You know, what the what what about it? What makes a fighting game a fighting game? Okay, I think I got the answer for this one. All right, go for it. All right, so what makes a fighting game a fighting game is based on what we've known and based on what we've discussed so far, you're going to need some type of, you're going to need characters. You're going to need, you're going to need characters. You're going to need an arcade mode. That's definitely a staple of a lot of fighting games. They They always have an arcade mode. More recently, also have had a story mode. You've okay. had a specific roster of characters. Some may have 20, some may have 85. Depends on the character, the series, and the franchise. Also, we're going to also need, like we mentioned earlier, now that you're probably going to need esports if, if a fighting game wants to get to that capacity. Okay. But when it's a fighting mm-hmm. game, a fighting game is you have two people, one on one, two on two, three on three, whatever the game lets you, how many characters at the same time. You have two people going one on one. Simple as that. Can't get no more simpler than that. So I wouldn't consider Pokemon a fighting game as much as I like Smash. It's a you could probably set the rules to make it more like a fighting game, but it's not a fighting game. Pokemon not a fighting game because they kind of messed that up. They messed that up completely. That should have been an excellent, like we mentioned earlier. That probably could have been a Killer Instinct type of game. Would have made a, a, a more, way more money than it should have. Okay. But that's what makes a fighting game: arcade mode, characters, tournament modes, online. Go to online, that is. So mm-hmm. definitely, Fighter Z would be a a a, a game. Um, Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, those type. Of, we know what a fighting game is. We know what it is, and we know what it's not. Uh, so so pretty much to break it down, Smash. As much as I love Smash, it's a good fighting. It's a it's more of a history of gaming disguised as a fighting game. That's the way I've always felt about Smash. Like if you're in Smash, you're an icon. I wish Mortal Kombat mm-hmm. beginning, but that, that, that'll probably never happen because of how violent Mortal Kombat is in Nintendo. That'll probably never happen. We'll never see Scorpion or Sub-Zero in Smash. Hey, I hate to be the one to break your heart, folks, but that's never going to happen. As much as it would be cool to see like Ryu and Mario fight Scorpion, not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe on Earth 2, but not, not here. But to make a good fighting game, you just need characters, the arcade mode, tournament mode, online competitive, and it's just 1v1. It's just one person picks their group of characters, another person picks their group of characters, and that's it. Okay. That's it. Just one one, one, one v person, 1v1. One. One one. I can see that. Okay. So, okay. With, with what makes do you a fighting game? Week? I say yeah. I say yeah. If we're going by the definition I just said, I would, depending, if it's just one person versus one person, Wrestling games can be considered fighting games if you want to go that route, but I think wrestling just has a little bit more. You get more maybe creativity, maybe more creative player options, which you don't get in, in traditional fighting games. Not many fighting games have a create your pl- your own player option. That's one way to distinguish wrestling games from fighting games. They're both kind of the same thing, but I think wrestling just has more stuff that makes it a little bit more different. If that makes sense, I can see that. I can agree with that. I mean, I would say. I guess to kind of expound upon what Rod was saying, the f- wrestling games, they're still 1v1. 
no matter how you look at it, it's still one v one. Even if you got a tag team match, right. even if you got a you know well, three man uh, rumble. That's why. Yeah. Fighting game. Yeah, it's still it would still be considered a fighting game because it's never it's, it's still I, one I, one team versus one team. It's not a everybody can attack everybody situation. I, I will put it like this, and yes, it is. You can't you have it like that. It's not oh, okay. Simple. Well. But I, I I will put it as I will say it's a another dynamic of fighting game. Right. Instead of putting it to the core of fighting game, it's another right. dynamic of fighting game. Okay, because go for it. The dynamic of a WWE game is so huge. Like you can have three v one matches, you can have one v one, you have two v two, you have eliminations, you can have battle royale where thirty people come out and be a match. Like that's that's why I feel like it should just be in a hub. It should be considered a fighting game, but it just at another dimension of a fighting game. Okay, so then would you then under that guys place Smash in the same realm as WWE games? No. No. I mean, you're talking about a 30 man Royal Rumble. What's the difference between that and Smash? Hmm. That's it. By my you definition, a fighting game is can we beat the dog shit out of each other? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's simple as that. Bro. Can, simple can, as that. You, can you emulate real shit? Like okay. it's cool you got powers and shit or whatever, da, 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 da. but can I punch you in the face? Is it an actual fuck? We all we we're all grown black men. We've all been in at least one fight in our life. When I turn on the screen, can I see shit that I've seen in the streets? You we all know what a fight is. Is yeah. there a possibility to fight in the game? Pokemon. Niggas is not beating the dog shit out of each other, bro. I'm going to throw a flame at you, or I'm going to use bite or whatever the hell. Da, da, da. <laughs> That's not a fighting game. Can we fight, bro? Fist the cups. Can I throw my dukes up and beat the shit out of you, or you beat the shit out of me, whatever. Da, da, da. You can do that in wrestling. Wrestling is a literal, it's a fighting art. Like, people wrestle. You used yeah. to wrestle. Fools. I wrestled. Yeah. <laughs> It's a I'm, fight. I'm just, you know, yeah. Wrestling and fighting, bro. Like, is, is it fighting in the game? Is it a, like, it does it center around fighting the game? Because you can have games that have fighting in it, but that's not the, is the sole purpose to fight. That's what makes a fighting game. It's not the, oh, um, it, the purpose of the game is to go on this adventure and during the adventure, I might fight you, whatever it is. Which will put like samurai games into it because you fighting, but the point of the game is you're doing this or whatever it is. Right. WWE, uh, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Killer Samurai Instinct, Showdown, Tech Team. You, the Ooh. point of the game is for two people to come try to beat the doctor. I'm about to be like, yo, nah, so I'm burying you. I'm going to beat the doctor out of you, or you going to beat the doctor. That's the point of the game. Yeah, and that is what make that's what makes a fighting game is the point of the game to beat the dog shit out the other person. Because let's be okay. real, anybody pulling up Mortal Kombat to be like, "Oh, I slapped you, I win." No, you're in there to fucking fatality somebody and keep it pushing, bro. Mm-hmm. The dog shit out you, bro. No, they just the want a friendality game? them. Oh, boo! <laughs> I want to okay, battle somebody. To- to to do a to do a, a friendality or a babality, one of the dudes yeah. that don't like fish, you had to beat the dog shit out of them first. Anyway, you had to beat them first. You literally had to you had to beat them yeah. first, and then after you beat them up, you was like, oh yeah, now we're friends. Okay, <laughs> that don't that, that don't never made no sense to me. It's called submission. It's called beating into <laughs> submission. That's what that's right. called. You had to beat them first. You beat okay. them into submission. They need to submit. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, okay. That, it's simple, but that, that's what it is. Can I see this? Even he was talking about the three-on-ones and stuff like that. We ain't all seen somebody get jumped before, bro. That's a real thing. Yeah. This is... is this nigga's fighting, bro. <laughs> Bottom line, are they fighting or no? 
Okay. And is that the point uh, of the game? Because obviously, you know, we play Assassin's Creed and stuff like right. that. We beat the shit out of each other, but the, the point of the game, the sole focus in like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Tekken, and shit like that is this nigga and this nigga about to have a match to see who the hell gonna beat the shit out of each other. That's the Touché. point. Mm-hmm. Touche. All right. All, all right. Well, since we since we since we on this, he actually he actually brought up a perfect little segue for our next verses of the day. Okay. All right. Who taking the dub? No Ooh. Zords allowed. I can't wait. This, this is the best on the for both of them. I'm buying buy it. Original and original. Mighty Morphin versus the original turtle. We talk the original cartoon turtles. I got, I got Power Rangers. Rangers. But I'm but not lying. Lying. I really, I really can't answer So, it. so it's, Rod, you said turtles. You said Rangers. You said Rangers. Yeah, I yeah, said Rangers. Ranger. We're, we're going, going 87, 87, 87, 87 versus, versus, versus Mighty, Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin. I think I think, I think, I think the, the power, power range power range is barely 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 win. win. Barely win. win. Okay. 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 I got the turtles. You got the turtles? Okay. They're ninja. Okay. 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 Before I give you my answer. Uh-huh. You said the original Mighty Morphin, Morphin, right? Original Mighty Morphin and the original cartoon Before series. Or after, after the Green Rangers. Rangers. That's a good question. That's a good question. I want to say we're going, to be, going to be, we're going before tur- before before Green okay. Ranger because then that's too many bodies. Like it's that's already five on four, right? It's already five on four right Turtles. now. Turtles. Turtles. Okay. What about with White Ranger? Turtles. Even with no, the um, no, no Ranger still, still win. win. It was it was, still, it was it going with the eighty-seven seven turtles. turtles. Now, this, this was, was the old three turtles. I think old three turtles beat any of the Ranger teams. Hold it. Which your hold? Which your three turtles? I'm, uh, you got to remind me. Okay. okay. The, 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 I'm, I'm talking about the, the, the 2003, 2003 four kids, Ninja Turtles. Oh, okay. Okay. They're probably one of the more skilled Ninja Turtles teams. 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 If you think about it. Okay. I mean, we know today's turtle versus today's, not cartoon. The movie turtles versus the movie Power Rangers. The movie turtles are gonna squash them. That's a given. Oh yeah, yeah. that's not even a question. Um. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a throw up question. A, a toss in. Look! Look at the picture, bro. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying turtles. No, regardless, I'm going to say turtles on that yeah, one for anything. A question to me, bro. but Your here's name? my question: <laughs> What if Donnie got a hold of the Megazord? Oh, okay. oh. it's old. Oh, it's game weird. over. <laughs> That's it. Game oh, over. Why did you use picture when the turtles met the Power Rangers? I didn't. Even we don't talk it. about that one. We we, yeah, that's that's also something we don't talk we about. We don't do that here. <laughs> yeah. That never happened. Yeah. He's like, what? Huh? Who? When? What? We don't know. We don't acknowledge that turtle. We don't oh, acknowledge that Like, if, if Donnie can make Zords for them. Bro, that's OP, bro. I mean, he made Mecha Turtle. Think about it. He made Mecha Turtle. True. Exactly. It's OP. And like then he was able to transfer his body into another turtle, into a robot turtle in the comics. So, so. yeah, yeah, they win it anyway. You gonna give them Zords, nigga? Come on, man. Right, that's what I'm saying. I like, got, I got a. Uh, come on, man. Go to finish. I got a, another versus that kind of pertain to this one that okay. I've been thinking about for years. Go for it. years. Um, so we're gonna keep the turtles. Okay. And we're gonna put them against their predecessors, Street Sharks. They're not the predecessors. Ooh. Wait, no, it's all the other way. Predecessors. Ooh. No, sir. They're not the predecessors. Listen, no, sir. Listen, 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 listen. The turtles like came out beforehand. The creator of Street Sharks said he got the idea to, he had the idea for Street Sharks, but to make the way he was going to do it not match 
um, the way that he thought it was going to come out. But after he read the Ninja Turtles comic book, he decided to do it like that. So in technical sense, they are the predators. Who, 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 the turtles or the sharks? The sharks are, are second. Because technically second. there was no sharks out for the turtles to be to look up to. So no, whether if it's in your head, it don't count if it ain't on paper. It don't count. I said first. I missed the second. I missed the second. Oh, successor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, it, it don't count if it ain't on paper. Okay, okay. Yeah. It was on paper. It wasn't. I made. mean, that's not even that's not even the same conversation. No, like, no. I mean, I said. I said like, no, not, not yet. No, no, no. I'm just saying, even the turtles aren't street sharks. Street sharks that's because not the conversation I would have. Come out after. So. Well, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, that's not even I, that's not even a matchup that I would say is worthwhile. Pers- personal opinion. Personal opinion. Here's why. Street Sharks, because of the era that Street Sharks came out in, if I'm going to compare Street Sharks to anybody, it's the dino, the dinosaurs. I forget the name of them. You know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I it's them. So I'm trying to remember. Come on. I'm trying to remember right. <laughs> Dinosaurs. I know it's about. like dinosaurs. They, were, they had a dinosaur. I so got you. I I when the turtles got big, they had so many different like similar things. They had dinosaurs. Yeah. They had the uh, street shark. They had the what was the a mouse? The mice thing. Michael Mars was, Mars was my ish, bro. Michael Mars. Michael Mars. You can't. Like, hold on. Uh, I got it. one. Now I got one. Biker Mars versus SWAT cats. How about instead of street sharks? Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Wait, say Biker that one Mars again. Mars versus street shark uh, versus SWAT cats. That's a SWAT good one. Okay. Biker wait, wait. Mars versus SWAT, SWAT cats. Yes. You pick SWAT, mm. cats. SWAT cats. Sorry, I fam. Biker mice all day. No, that's a that's a close one. I think biker mice squeak it out. Day. That's like saying biker mice versus Bucky O'Hare, Y'all on fam. Bikes. I'm in a jet. What are you gonna do to me? Bruh, hold on. Bro. But the the SWAT cats had a had a bike too. The biker Dude. mice's bikes they but, could fly in space. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, they get yeah. Bro. The SWAT cats jack like, can't go into space. Ball, this is not Tom and Jerry. Bruh. <laughs> bro, biker mice from Mars. Biker mice from Mars cats, is man. is mopping the SWAT cats, bro. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Vinny and Moto. It, it Vinny was... and Moto. They're not mopping nobody, bro. They listen, mopping. Listen. Hey, nigga, put it put, put it like this. Put, if you put think a mouse in the cat in the that's same room. That's Ralph and Donatello. <laughs> that's basically who they are. Is you said yeah? Okay, okay. You got Ralph and Donatello, but then you got Leo, listen. Mikey, and Ralph. Like. Who? It's we Raph and Donatello Dino. against Leo, Mikey, and Raph. Mm. Vinny, Moto, and uh, the other one. I forget the other one's name. But yeah. No, nigga. Nah, you making me think about... Nah, he's making me think about versus I've been thinking about for a long time myself. Let's We're kind of... I got. I might got an interesting one for y'all. But when we finish this, I might got an interesting one for you. With, on. the, with the Ninja Turtles. Mice. With the Ninja Turtles. I got a good one for you because I've thought about this for a while. And this is... I'm a is a is a Ninja Turtles versus a particular anime in a particular era. I got one for you. No. Who would win? I'm using the O3 Turtles okay. versus Team Seven Naruto after the tuning exams because technically the O3 Turtles are also tuning. Fun fact: a lot of people didn't know that they're technically tuning as well. Yeah. But who you think will win? Team Seven after the tuning exam or the O3 Ninja Turtles? Team Seven. Are we doing straight hands? Are we talking about abilities or right, straight hands? Question, question. We're going. We're going with the, just their straight physical abilities. Oh, Any turtles. physical abilities there? Turtles. I got turtles again. Yeah. If we going straight hands, we turtles. Straight, we straight hands. No jutsu. If we're going no jutsu and all, team seven. Then right, team seven. Yeah, if jutsu is team seven. Oh, sorry. Straight hands. Well, we're not talking about crazy. Kakashi. I'm no. assuming we're just talking about just the other three. You said we're just talking about Naruto, Sasuke, and and Sakura. And yeah, Sasha, we're just talking. Well, we're not including break. Kakashi in this. We're not including Kakashi because Kakashi is a joke. But that's not. It's just a battle of. It's a battle of the Guineas. So okay. I'm just saying, Naruto. Yeah, well, Kakashi is a joke. So you want a this team. is a this is a tuning fight. So, J, J, it's a tuning fight. No Jonin allowed. Keep, keep, keep <laughs> <on>. <laughs> but here's what I was thinking because I thought about this because of. Because I've seen a, I've seen the O3 Turtles. 
like one of the last seasons of the old three turtles, they had the ability to turn into dragons, which I think a yeah. lot of people that lost season, they had the ability to yeah. turn into dragons. So do you, do you think team seven can beat the, the dragon Ninja turtles? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, 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 yeah. Not, 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 maybe Shippuden ain't that, error. Ain't that maybe Aizen Sh- Sword? Hold on a minute. Ain't that, no, that's, no, Kenpachi. No, that's Ken Sword. Yeah, that's Kenny Sword. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, for real. <laughs> you ain't saying nothing, bro. What you, what you saying? Oh, Lord. What you saying? So the Hidden Hidden went to get Zoro we Sword. We got the Black Blade. <laughs> what you want to do, bro? We got the Black Blade. Come on, son. What you want to do, some look, look. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. Fun fact. Yeah, got yeah. Christmas we got to do... Come on, come on, bro. We're going to have to do best ninja... We're going to have to do you best anime storyman one of these days. We're going to definitely have to do anime storyman one of these days. Well, so, ladies and gentlemen, hey, I got let us coming. know which Comic-Con or what con you want us to show up at, and we will make an appearance. Oh, no. I already got that. No, no. We already got that one. Dragon okay, where, where are we going? We'll be at Dragon Con this Dragon year. Con. Then. Always make somebody go to Dragon Con next, next, year. next year. This next coming year, we will be at Dragon Con. So you will be able to meet us in person. <laughs> God at will. Con. you, bro. Right, as long as you know the world's still rotating, type deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nothing crazy is going on yet. I've been wanting to go to Dragon Con for like three years now. Anyway, so mm-hmm. I've been right. I've been to New York Comic Con. I went to I actually went to Cinchi Con in, in Alaska. That's kind of a Underrated one. That one was kind of fun. That was kind of fun. Going to yeah, that was, was kind of fun. I, I, it gives you, it gives you a good excuse to go visit Alaska. Let's <laughs> say that much. It gives you. A good I'm with it. Go. I'm with it. Like shit. Like if you want to go to Alaska, let's go to Alaska. Y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all hear a sad story that happened to me at Dragon Con? What happened? Last Dragon I went to, we was out there and we was having fun. It was so much fun. So many people was there. Uh, I knew it was going to be some famous people there. I met somebody famous and did not know it was them. The what person was dressed as Leroy Smith. I'm going to tell you. He was dressed as Leroy Smith from Tekken. And that Tekken or so. It was Tekken. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The new, okay. The new one, if you yeah. know who it is, don't say nothing. I'm going to tell you this. This person is one of my favorite freaking artists. When I say favorite, if you go through my phone, I have all this the album, except probably the last one. But he's one of my favorite artists. Have been one of my artists forever. Sat there, had a whole conversation to my like the cosplay. He killed it. And 30 minutes later, my friend sent me a picture telling exactly who it was and that he was an kind I should look out for him. Did not know it was him. Who was it? It was T fucking T. <laughs> Oh wow! That's that is hilarious. Didn't even get a picture, oh, bro, did you? I was hurt. I did not get a picture. Yeah. Because he, him, and his daughter was headed to another building. So if you've never been to Dragon Con, Dragon Con is downtown Atlanta. When you go, it is all the with the major hotels and stuff at all four or five of them hotels is Dragon Con. Yeah. All, you go in a different hotel every floor. Like Dragon Con, and it is such a thing to the point like usually it's around Memorial Day weekend. That weekend, you have yeah. Dragon Con, you have uh, the football season, the college football games, and if something else be going on, if not the mistaken, Carnival be going on. So yeah, you got all that in end. one area, Ugh. and everything be lit. Everything you go know, from seeing somebody in a uh, football uniform to seeing somebody cosplaying. Real quick. Yeah. That sound lit. I was still pissed about the T-Pain thing. I wrote him on TikTok, <laughs> though. I don't think he wrote back yet. <laughs> well, Wait, I just I got I got another verses in mind if y'all don't if y'all don't mind what was the verses. Okay, I was on Facebook earlier this week. I don't know if y'all are part of the Black Enemy Lounge Facebook group. No. But they they've been throwing like a lot of different tournaments, and one that kind of caught my eye. They were doing like best leader tournaments, and okay, we were just okay. thinking about Naruto, and we were just talking about Kakashi. So they mm-hmm. had who's the better leader? And it was a first round matchup, and I still think it's bullshit. What happened? It was they had who's the better leader, Kakashi or Yusuke? Who's who's the better leader? What leader? And I was like, Kakashi yeah. Who lost? Did, did did Kakashi lose? 
He lost. He lost to Yusuke. And I'm like, what the hell? That makes no damn sense. How? Yusuke's not even a leader. I was like, I, okay. I, like I, when I saw that, I just didn't take the rest of that Genkai tournament. Genkai would be Genkai would have been the would have been the leader technically. If we're talking about people who were fighting during it, then it would have been Karama. He's the only one who actually. That's what I said. Out. I actually, right. I right. actually commented that in the thread. I said, I mean, you gotta be Kakashi almost should win this by default. Yusuke was Why not the leader of the team. Because Yusuke's not a leader. Bro. Yeah, he's just the protagonist. He's, he's, he's the, the hothead. He's, he's the protagonist. He was never the leader. Yeah, I was like, I'm really? They didn't know what they were asking. That's what it was. They were just like, oh, well, Yusuke is the main person. So There are a lot of, comp- I've seen a lot of people doing these like charts and stuff. And I'm like, and I feel, I, I, I don't knock anyone's knowledge base or lack of knowledge. No, because there are plenty of anime that I ain't watched say, yet. Say you know what I mean? Man. You don't knock anybody ignorance. True. Okay. That just, that just rubbed me the wrong nice. way. Okay. I was trying to play nice. Okay. No, you're not nice. If it, okay. <laughs> if, you, if you call somebody ignorant and then they get upset, that lets you know that they were ignorant. I know. I know. I know. Listen, okay. Though, okay. So this man said he was trying to play nice. There's literally I was trying to play nice. two people on the video with swords We're so in their hands. <laughs> this, is true. Play nice. this is true. <laughs> he has a hollow mask on his head Somebody talking about play nice. On, like, right. like, like, yeah. Play nice. And Yo, no, real talk, <laughs> if we, if there's an artist listening, can we get a bearded, a bearded, hollow-fied Ichigo? Like, I think that would, like, it, like... I'm with the shit. I'm saying, no, if somebody says, draw that you? out. How dare you? I know that. <laughs> You're busy, so we can get somebody else to no. do it. That'd be great. So fucked up, low key. Hey, you talking Jeez. about playing nice, bro? <laughs> I right, so for the viewers who don't know, Infamous J is literally an artist. Like, it's, yeah, his name is J Artist. <laughs> great. <laughs> Lashade, Lashade, Lashade. Okay, hold on. Re- rewind because we had we had a glitch. We had a glitch in the stream, yo. Repeat what you said. We had a glitch in the stream. Oh, if for the viewers who don't know, Infamous J is literally an artist. Like if you go on Instagram and say his name is J Artist Cal. <laughs> yeah. This guy told yeah. us to play nice and go to said, Can we get <laughs> Any artist that's watching to, to draw this, like the man who's a part of the cast, ain't you? Okay, the reason I like, did that is because he's always busy. He be driving. Y'all saw the man. He was making his money last last show. You know what I'm saying? So got he, got, he got things to do. He got things to do, you know? But just saying. I am home. Second off, how you how you how you, how you, how you got the phone. mask and you still ain't never thought of that that image though? That's what I want to no. know. See, mm. that, this is my thing. You this is you messed up at. You didn't act. Me and my brother are doing our own hollow mask. We're making up our own. I Karen. still want to see a bearded you hollow. You didn't That's all I'm saying. Okay, I will add a bit. I'll make you a bearded hollow. Okay. Kenpachi style bearded hollow. Okay, I'm making Kenpachi mask that has a beard. On it. No, no, no. I I got my beard. I just want to, I want like an anime style drawing of someone that's like a hollow with a beard. Think about it. None of the hollows had beards. No, they did not. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they all had like oh. hair and horns and stuff. None of them had beards. Some of the they iron cars had beards. The, some of the iron cars did, but they didn't have full hollow mass. Yeah. Theirs was like broken off well, and stuff. Speaking on beards, speaking on beards while we're on beards right now. It is no shave November. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, my beard. It's not even November. All I'm saying. So I'm tired of talking out gray hairs, but I, I, I'm look the gray. Leave the gray, bro. It's just no. Gonna be, it's gonna gonna be I'm, fight, I'm gonna fight it. I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it until, can, until the wheels come. Fight it. Hey, you do realize the more you fight it, the more gray is gonna show up, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I'm still fighting. A lot of women nowadays that like that soft belt look. I'm trying to go all white. What? I'm not trying to go salt and pepper. I'm trying to go all white. Nah, I can't. I bro, I, I ain't gonna tell you, bro. I can't wait to be a salt and pepper, bro. 
<laughs> I need to find a proper. I need to get back into like a proper barbershop just to get mine realigned up again. Like it's been that I do need to do. They better not fuck around and make me still be fucking single when I fucking become a phone person. Yeah, like I like yeah, I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying my best with my beard here, but I I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> I'll be, I, like it's like I I was trying to trim it and I messed it up on one side and then and then I thought it's a whole bunch of gray and I panicked. <laughs> so I just like ugh. I'm so not. I'm gonna tell you beard. the first thing about cutting your own beard. If you mess up, you can always fix it. If you cut it too thin, it's a it's a it's a tool. I don't know. I have one that you can. Um, it's like it's a funny little shape, but you can put it up to your ear or wherever you're lining up at and cut, and it, it'll keep you straight so you won't mess up anything. Yeah, like I haven't touched my beard since I did it. I think I might have shaved a little too much off, and then I try. I couldn't get it right. So I was like, you know what? I'm not just. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I'm just gonna leave it be, and just not touch it. <laughs> I'm like, it's, it, I can't. I can't get it right. Like I need to get to a barbershop, but I don't know. Just it's Milwaukee. I don't know. It's the Midwest. It's Milwaukee. That's one thing I do miss about New York. New York has some great barbershops, no matter where oh, you want. All day, all day. All right, y'all. So we're gonna switch gears real quick. I got something I did this past week that was phenomenal. What you I went did? on a uh, I went on a tasting, right? Okay. And what you think? my guy, he was like, "Yo, we're gonna go to this bourbon tasting place." Take Ooh, some bourbons buddy. midday. Okay. Be nice. I walk in, and I this is you. what I see. This what, is what, what the... I see. These are vinegars, bro. See, see. A word, These are all different flavors of vinegar. <laughs> when I say, I had, I say two hours in the store. Two hours. It's called Vom Foss. When I say they had apple star, they had fig chili vinegar, uh, mango, wild mango, uh, anything you could think of. Like you see, you see the names on here: date yeah, balsamic, yeah. aceto yeah. balsamic. Yeah. When I say they had everything, fam, it was amazing. These are the liqueurs that they had. They had wild rose, uh, mm. sour cherry, all mm. all kinds of different stuff in here. And I literally said like two hours. See, they make their own absinthe. That's messy. That's crazy. That's crazy. It was fire. When I say it was the cleanest stuff I've had, like I said, it's called Vom uh, Vom Foss. That's their Instagram. For those of you in the St. Louis area, definitely check them out. There's only a f- like ten of them across the country that I know of that I saw on their site. Uh, they are independently run, but they're a chain. It's flipping amazing, <laughs> flipping amazing. I've got a uh, they I got the apple star and the fig chili. When I say combined, it is like the perfect sweet spicy barbecue sauce taste. So I got some uh some chuck beef upstairs that I cooked earlier. I was about to say some of them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's sitting in the glaze right now. So as soon as we get off, I will be smashing on that with some rice and some veggies. Yeah, bro. Like they had, and I say everything. They ship them all. They ship them out. A hundred milliliters was like nine bucks for the oil. They do oils too. So like olive yeah, oils, flavored oils, all of that stuff, bro. All of that. So if y'all get a chance, check them out online. Like I said, they ship. They they ship stuff out, deliver. But when I say I will never, like my personal bar, will never be from a regular store again after this. It will not. It's old that old that good. Yeah, that's a fucking old right there. Uh-huh. I will never buy anything from a regular store again from here on out. Like unless I just have to grab something in their clothes. It that. was crazy. Like they had the when I said the flavors, and they all have like they make all their bases, base vodkas, base rums, base tequilas, their base mezcal, phenomenal, phenomenal. How is and the then, The. Oh, they had those. Those are casked. All of them are casked. Yeah, I didn't get a picture of that one, so I apologize on that one. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We did end up having. Oh, it was top tier, top tier. When I say the when I let's put it this way, the mezcal and the bourbon tasted almost identical for one of them. 
That's crazy. If anyone knows about mezcal tequilas, right. it's got it's, a, it's like a smoky awesome. mesquite, right? And the for the for the mezcal and the bourbon to almost taste identical. That's what I'm saying. For to even have a tequila that matches up to bourbon, that's a wild. Yeah, yeah, it was insane. And they and they had like 20 different variations of bourbons and stuff. That's a point. So we had two different walls. Like I said, the entire building is just walls of stuff, oils and everything. Great time. Like I said, I spent two hours in there talking. Uh, for those in St. Louis, Ali's who I spoke with, she's phenomenal as far as helping you out. She knows her stuff. And she knows her food and how to cook, too. So if y'all swing by there, talk to, to her. Say, the way you talk, I'm, I'm going to have to check, check them out because I love telling you, yeah, it is It is amazing. When I say the I amount see, of... I can, I can fucking feel the the inventions I'm about to have in the kitchen. Yes, like, yes, like, dude. Oops. When I say I sat there, I was like, if I had a hundred dollars right now, we would oh. have at least twenty five different sauce right. like sauces sets right. that we can make that's on our own. Sets. Like when y'all come down, we're gonna do a, right? we're gonna do a taste test tonight. You know how BuzzFeed does their little taste testing thing. Right. We're gonna do a taste test tonight when y'all when, whenever we finally get together, whether it's Dragon Con or whatever right. y'all come this way or whatever the case may be. And I'm just gonna get a bunch of their stuff, their bases, and a bunch of their liqueurs, and we're going to make our own different flavors I'm for the night. Whether it be bourbons, absinthe, vodkas, whatever, they've got it all. I'm with the shit, bro. So, yeah. So shit. FYI, I'm that's that's space. there. That was I'm something I did this weekend. Time that time was time. that was great. Uh, another thing that I did this weekend that I wanted to kind of put you all on game was. And let me pull this up here for you. Doo, doo, doo. Uh, the Van Gogh exhibit. I don't know if you all have it there or not. Um, it will eventually. I know it, it kind of makes us rounds. Let me pull this up here for you. But the Van Gogh exhibit was great. Where did it go? Oh, for real? Now you don't want to play? I guess you ride a sword. Man, so okay. Sword, well, I'll put this up there. I ride a sword so he can join the sword again. Well, it's playing in my ear for some reason, and I don't know why. Anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. It started messing up again. It's all good. Don't have of seat. course, as soon as. Yep, there we go. Can y'all see something now? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I can see something. It was a Van Gogh. It, 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 it. It was the entire room. The walls, the floor, it was fully immersive. And when I say, like, it was, it, I sat, we sat in there for about a good 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, he blinked. Yeah, yeah. There's that one. Uh, here, hold up. You went? Yeah, I was there. Yeah. Watch this. That's was how the imagery came across the entire room. Oh, that's cool. And it just the entire room just flooding with art and the music and everything. It was yeah. Yeah. That's that's how that's 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 
it like I said, the entire exhibit was it was phenomenal. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this last one here. Hold up. This one here, I'm gonna make this bigger for you. Watch how watch how the, the art like the drawings come in. Yeah. And like think about it, like every wall in there across the floor. The only thing it wasn't was the ceiling. So if y'all get a chance, I say right now it's in St. Louis, but I know it's gonna be traveling around. Look for Beyond Van Gogh. That's where you want to go. Uh, go look up if you guys want to try to check it out and see where they're going next. Um, it, like I said, it's about. It took us about maybe an hour and a half to go through the whole thing because uh, they go through his whole life history first in different images, and then this is the last part where you just sit there. It's about a thirty-minute run of the imagery and music and stuff like that. But yeah. <laughs> So yeah, just as a uh, something to do, I've got some quotes that I got from Van Gogh that I'm gonna be doing some uh, some of the motivational Monday stuff on as well. So I'll save those for later. Uh, but yeah, that was something else that we did. That was like I said, if it comes to y'all area, y'all should definitely, definitely try it out. So okay, all right. Fire though. Yeah, yeah. It was it was when I say it was a, it was amazing. It was nice. It was tranquil. Tranquil is the word. Tranquil's the word. Oh, there's one in Atlanta. So, um, okay. yeah, I'm, I know they, I know they swing by that way sometimes too. So that's why I was like, it just depends on where, where they're going next. That part I'm not sure. So, well, we have been here for a good two hours now. Normally we run about four. Yeah. I wasn't gonna try to run that full <laughs> four today because I know. <laughs> We got so everybody got things to do, so uh, I'm gonna leave it up to the rest of the crew. Leave it up to the rest of the crew. Do y'all want to talk about villain speeches today, or do you want to save that one, pull a few more, and do that one next week as one of our main topics? Probably work better as a main topic. topic. Main topic that's gonna be a long topic, yeah. Okay, okay, so you all heard it. We're going to do that next week. Uh, we will talk about speeches in anime and movies, especially specifically from villains that make the world make more sense as a regular person. <laughs> uh, villains who break the fourth wall with their speeches. That's what we're going to call that. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do Monday. Uh, we're going to do Motivational Mondays is going to be about dreams and the importance of dreams and having a dream and what that means um, and why it's so important. So, yeah, other than that, is there anything y'all want to say before we close out? Are we closing out already? Mm. Yeah, yeah, we're going to take, take it. We're going to close it early today. We're going to close it early today. All right. All right. I Outside of Ichigo. Go. <laughs> Ichigo over there. Let me share some poetry with y'all. And then, All right, let's do that. Let's then y'all can guess what it's about after uh after I read it. Okay. More, more like who it's about. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And you know what? I think I think today I'll actually go ahead and do a piece myself after, as as we end up too. So okay, crazy. So right, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, vocab. I am not lost. I know where I'm going. First off, I didn't choose this life. You made me your right hand. Strength is inevitable with your arms, but what about your mouth? Piling on experiences to increase skill. My blades cut through all, and you drag me through such conflict. But I will fight because I believe in your dream. I will slash and stab and slice and make it a reality while that guy only kicks a pure annoyance. You think I'm hindered by my lack of an eye, but it was actually made me better. Now I can't be defeated. And as you battle your bosses, I will exterminate all henchmen once I find you. But I'm not lost. You disappeared and your location continues to change. 
Rengoku on Giri. Sir. Now, y'all guess, y'all guess who it's about? Or what it's about? Impachi? Bleach? So it's Not about an anime that. character, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Those sir. of you who are watching, you throw it in the chat. Goku. We got it for the boys on the stream. Oh. You said Rengoku. You said Rengoku. Okay. Rengoku. Right. Rengoku. All I right. said Rengoku Onigiri. But it's not on Bleach. No, it's not Bleach. So, the Think about how it starts, too. Instagram. Think about how it starts, too. I am not lost. I know where I'm going. First off, I ain't choose this life. You made me your right hand. Oh, one piece. Oh, yeah, that's Zoro. All day, baby. Come on now. Y'all supposed to be <laughs> Peace was about one for Zoro from one piece. Very Zorro. good. Very Thank good. You. That yeah, that that right there. That, the, right, that right there shows y'all the power of words. Mm-hmm. That shows you the power of mm-hmm. words. You you never know what or how or why because anything can affect your life in in a in a manner. Any that right there could have been about anybody. There could be somebody who heard that and that was like, yeah, me. You know what I mean? It, we were talking about a whole, whole anime character. But it's about the person, about the soul of the person that we were speaking about, that the words were about. True. So, I don't, ooh. So, first off, when we are here, when we are here, and those who are with us, y'all are family, as we are family here. Okay. There's no comparison of anything, when it, especially when it comes to spoken word. Spoken word, in my personal opinion, and this is this is my my thing, and everybody doesn't agree with it, and that's okay. I agree. Spoken word is the breath of one's soul. I agree. I'm Every just, soul is different. Or something like that. I mean, Every like, soul is different. Yep. As he says. It's personal expression. Every soul speaks differently. Exactly. It's personal expression. So make sure you remember that when you if you go to a if you go to a speakeasy or you know your open mic night or whatever the case may be, if you go to something like that, remember everybody's words, everybody's cadence, everybody's life force is etched into those pads, etched into those minds. When That's it comes awesome. out. Make sure you pay each one the same reverence because you may miss a jewel and gem of knowledge right over your head because it doesn't sound a certain way. Because it wasn't presented a certain way. My mom always used to say, you learn from everything you do. If you're there and you're spending time, make sure you learn from it. Whether you're watching your anime, whether you're Listen to us right now, having a good time, whatever the case may be. Learn something. Infamous look like he got something on his mind, though. So I'm going to let him go ahead and speak. Well, just like. Yeah. <laughs> I was just receiving. I saw, I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. Saw him queue up there. I was like, Infamous look like he got something on his right. mind. Right. My man was... pulled out a folder. I saw it. <laughs> I saw the book pull <laughs> out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all watching too hard. So- <laughs> spoken word is the word. I just had pulled out some of my art pieces because people go for it. Go for it. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, wrong way. Okay, we got. Some. Okay, that's kind of fire. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, brother. that's real. Let's get it. That's a tat for one of my favorite. That is a tat. It is. That's that a is tat. A tat. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my black beautiful women. Oh, okay. Ooh, always. Oh, that was nice. That always. So okay. Can we can we take a moment to to talk about how I need more black women to wear purple? Yes. Like, can oh, yes. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. you see all the purple <laughs> that be around both that like, like, yes. Or yellow. They, everybody want to go this red. I can see the yeah. yellow. I'm with the yellow as well. I can, I can do that. But like, you see a lot of the blonde in these reds and stuff. I'm like, I'm in these, I need y'all to do some purple. And blue, some blue. eyeshadow, some lipsticks. Just, yeah. just, just do it. So, why did you say it? I'm gonna tell you something about the picture. That was uh-huh. accident. So the top lip was supposed to be like a darker purple than the bottom lip. But uh-huh. My little uh, goddaughter had my sharpies and changed the ends on them. 
That's why I see it. Listen to Black Women. And I'm like, I, I'm, I'm just going to run with it. Uh, one of the notes from One Piece. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Long. <laughs> and that's a whole conversation for another day, too. That man's oh, power is completely Room. OP. And he does not use it effectively. Especially on Oh, force. he does not. He does not. Period. It pisses me off so much. And oh, my gosh. I guess this bitch is going to be wife of the week. Okay. <laughs> oh, is it? Uh oh. Oh, good God almighty. Oh, from Fire Force? Yes. I love well her. Well done. First of all, so. Well done. I'm definitely. She always naked. I need to catch up with Fire Force. Yeah. Fire Force is yeah. It's only 24 is, episodes. Is per, so you good. And they only have two seasons. So. Yeah. So it you should be you, too hard you for you. Yeah. So, since we're talking about catching up, I'm officially done with One Piece, B Stars. And oh, you caught up. up. Nice. Yes. I mean, my bad. One Piece. <laughs> I'm still catching One Piece. My bad. I'm mean, bleeding. You didn't catch up with One Piece yet? <laughs> nah, nah, I can't. I don't want to do sub, bro. That's the only reason. I'm done with Drosa, if that means anything. Not really. You just say you don't want to do sub. Not really. <laughs> Dang, I think even I'm further ahead. But only I'm on Fisherman Island, so I think I'm a little ahead of him. Yeah, you're ahead of him. Yeah. No, you're not. Fisherman Island? Yeah, Fishman Island. The second version? But the second one? Wait, there's two? Oh, the there's two. There are two. So. There's two sets of it, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay, wait. Are you at the one where they go underwater? Like I think they were looking for the years? get something for their ship to go underwater. Oh, okay. No, oh, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're, I'm ahead of you. You're I'm way, ahead of you. Yeah, okay. way ahead of you. I didn't know there was two <laughs> fishermen <laughs> islands. I didn't know that. I didn't. They gotta go back. <laughs> you got like two more arcs. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to catch up. My work's been too busy. I can't watch. He's not about to skim past. Yeah, you... Jay talk about some. He don't want to watch subs. We we no, are. I we are. That, that man, not... that wait, man wait, is. Wait. I said I do not want to watch these. Subs. I don't like some of the sub voices in that one. I can. Oh, that makes sense. And I, I can res- I can I'm understand sorry. that. Yeah, I can respect it. it. Has... Did you watch Dove first? Is that why? I mean, of course I watched it. Every, anybody said they didn't watch Dub first is retarded. I'm sorry. I did. You watched Dub first. I didn't. I, you're retarded. I watched Sub first. <laughs> I watched Sub you, first. So you, you mean to tell me the first time you watched One Piece, it was Sub. Very yeah. first time. Legit. So you didn't hear the gotta go, gotta go. No. I that will turn me off. Either. That turned me off for I, One Piece I, for I, a long I, time. I've never watched One Piece in Dub. Ever. Like I've not I've I've seen, seen it. Episode. I've seen that. I know what you're talking about. I watched the but whole I'd already thing watched in, it. In sub. The whole thing. I, I, I started it so I mean I hate that they um I mean I saw the dub. I they did just some of the voices from when it first came out in America but recently because this is not the same Anji voice actor as somebody well, else. Yeah, because yeah, Funimation took over. Mm-hmm. Funimation took over for four yeah. years. So yeah. thank yeah. God. So. Twenty years, so yeah, as long as Funimation has Dragon Ball and One Piece, they're they're gonna make money. That's if they had that. If they had that. If Funimation had One Piece, case I mean, case clothes and Dragon Ball, they would never have to worry about money ever again. Uh, how many Evo case clothes got? Over Close a to thousand. a thousand too. Over a thousand. That might oh, be mine's over a thousand too. Hold on, I'll give you the exact number. I stopped watching Case Closed though because it just wasn't doing it for me. They they didn't dub that fast enough. That's the only problem with that. They didn't dub that fast enough. My honest opinion. They're not dubbing One Piece fast enough. Wait, isn't it dub like in the eight hundreds already? Not too far behind. No. For what Case Closed Seven. or for One Piece? No, One Piece. Isn't One Piece dub like One Piece in the eight hundreds? I'm least... caught up in dub, and we ain't hit eight hundred yet. Oh wow! It's I thought it was already in eight hundred. Dress Rosa. It's just after Dress Rosa. Like, oh, wow. I thought it was already in the 900s. I thought it was already in the 800s already. Wow. Yeah, because I know a lot of stuff hasn't been dubbed right lately. I know. I don't know how weird a border uh, dub is, but I haven't been so checking for that. Three. 988 episodes. Three. Three. I don't think they're looking All at right. the five attack. I need y'all to pick a number between one and four. Three. Two. Three. 
What? Okay. I picked three. I go two. <laughs> All right. Can we get the camera off me? What's how to be the attention? <laughs> <laughs> Don't like the spotlight. Don't like the Don't like spotlight, do you? All right, all right, all right. Oh, I know. All right. Well, he said they said option three, so I'm gonna pull out the forest road. Y'all gotta give me a second. It's been a minute since I didn't spit a piece. <laughs> hey, yo, it's right. different. People don't understand. It's different reading and speaking, brother. Oh, oh, I bet. That's why it's called spoken word and not poetry. This darkness soon turned to light. I recite this phrase daily to myself. Entrenched in oblivion, I tread forward or is it backwards? There is no sense of proper direction in this abyss I've called home all these years, but maybe, just maybe, this time will be different. Crossing the paths of those whose roads make my own, all I can think is maybe this time I'll be able to catch a glimpse of the light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe this time I'll be able to find my way through this four lies. That's all this life is, lies. Be they to myself, from myself, or produced from the mouths of those I once held dear, hold dear. I can feel the blades of grass beneath my feet, the sod egging me forward. Don't hold back. Release the beast within. They will never understand you. This forest raised me. Illustrations of empathetic observations have rendered my mind's eye useless. Or maybe it's the only one working now. I don't know anymore. There was once a time where the heavenly periphery would amaze me, gazing skyward with the treetops, hurling a dawn of wonderment, stars of self-delight and opportunity dancing between their branches as I marched forward. But now all I see are mangled masses of desolation, each branch strangling the next in its ever constant race towards the heavens. I cannot die here. Beneath those who would constrain the lives of those tending its roots, I refuse. There is a place where this corruption has ceased, where the heavenly bodies can once again grace me with their presence. And I will make it. We will make it. No one deserves to live a life without wonder. And that's Forest Road. Yes, sir. I didn't know who you was doing philosophical pieces, Panda. <laughs> my bad, Coach. My bad. <laughs> I don't apologize. Well, yeah. well, I hope everybody enjoyed. As we That's said, you know, we're gonna try to keep doing that. We'll come up with more pieces and have pieces. We got archive stuff for days. I know. So we'll go through some stuff so y'all can hear as we go I, through. I, I do one of my pieces. Uh oh. See. 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 Uh-huh. Then got it started. <laughs> I think I'll probably pull out a sample from one of the stories I'm working on. I could probably pull something out. We can always we can always do something like that. That's never an issue at all. Never an issue at all. Like I said, I everybody, I we will also be having the weekly newsletter coming out. Just as a heads up, I will make sure that those are posted um, in the uh, link for when I upload these to YouTube and everything else. I'll make sure I add these that to the link if you're all interested. Or just leave a comment. Say, yo, I want to know what's up with the newsletter. And we will make sure you get the newsletter. All right. All right. All right. Well, again, this is the Panda Pandemonium and the rest of the crew signing out. Y'all want to close out y'all oh, individually? Or? Piece, he said. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jay. What's your piece, yo? I said, yeah, I know. I, I, I know I'll do a little mini week. review on my said next week. He said next week. Next week, oh, I you said next, next week. week. Yeah, you said next week. Yeah, yeah. Remember, we ain't got, yeah, we ain't got the writers week. group no more, so all our right. stuff is like in limbo. Too. Yeah, nah, he said next week, so that's fine. No biggie. And Rod, ain't no, ain't no push. You ain't got to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to, it's just one of those like, if, if we feel it, we'll hit one, call it a day. So, got it. Yeah, but I don't know. Let me do a little quick mini review of the My Hero third movie. I know we had mentioned, um, yes. the last episode. Episode. Let yes. me let me throw uh, a little mini review for let y'all. Me take my headset off. Let me take my headset off. <laughs> All right, go no for it. No. I'll do hey, a non-spoiler wait, review. You're done. I'll, just give me thumbs up. We got a non-spoiler version. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do a non-spoiler version. 
to keep it simple, the okay. movie was great. The movie was great. If you, I don't, I'm not sure if they're doing it this weekend, but last weekend, if you went, you got a free manga book. And oh, wow. don't read and don't read the manga book to after you finish the movie. This is gonna spoil the movie oh, for you. Okay, it's a big spoiler too for the movie, but it was good. Um, I would say Two he- Heroes Rising that came out last year was better. Wow. Was better. Was the better story. This one I think had better action and character development because it's not. I hate to say it, but it's not the way they've been advertising the movie. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Gotcha. So. I'll leave it at that. But overall, I'd give it a solid. It was like a solid seven and a half, seven and a half, eight. Depends on how you're feeling. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, what would you give Heroes Rising as well? Heroes Rising was a nine. Heroes okay, Rising okay. was a nine. Oh, that works. Just to give us, just to give us a, a perception. Okay, okay. And then the first movie is like a seven and a half because it's just because yeah. of the first movie. It's always it's the first just because. Yeah, and just because where it wasn't a story compared to where the manga is now, especially some of the later manga spoilers, season six and season seven. Oh my god, yo! If you, I'll say this right now: if you're still anime only, my hero, catch up on the manga now. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. Catch up on the manga because, baby, I hate to say it like wow. that, but they they're doing <laughs> like that, some huh? stuff. Yeah, the way okay. they ended season five, they they gave you a little carrot. That that was a hint to good. Like y'all better start reading the manga like now, mm-hmm. because if you didn't like season five, I know a lot of people have been ragging on the movie a little bit because it took away from from season five. They said the same thing about he's Heroes Rising for, for season four, yeah. but but I think they were just I think people just nitpicking the animation to be quite honest. I I never uh-huh. noticed it, but for here for for the for the new one, World's Heroes Mission. It's good. It's good. They could have executed. They could, some things could have been executed better. Maybe some characters could have more screen time. But but what it was was a solid story, and especially where it is in the manga. I mean, it, a lot of people got to remember this six weeks during that Endeavor agency arc. So they timed it mm. right with like my was doing something a lot of the other anime movies don't do, which is try to make their movies canon. And especially those who doubted the first movie was canon. If you read the recent manga, the first movie's canon as well. So all three. So My Hero's a first anime franchise where all their movies are canon. Not a lot of animes can say that. Yeah. Okay. Not a lot. That's I'm not going to say why the first movie is canon because it's a big spoiler. It's a very big spoiler. So I'm not saying anything. It's a very big spoiler. Gotcha. I'll just, yeah, like I said, if you've seen the first movie and you were paying attention, you'll figure it out if you if you catch up with the manga. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. But like I said, the first movie, seven, seven and a half. Second movie, nine. This one's about a seven and a half to an eight. It depends. It depends on how you like character development and lore building, stuff like that. It all depends yeah. on how you like that type of stuff. But it was a good movie. And you got a free manga book, so I like free stuff, so... Free is always free good. Stuff. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right. Well, we appreciate that. We yeah, we were we were looking for that. I forgot about. It. I didn't know if it was this week or next week. So, thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll, I'll probably have internals for y'all next time. We'll go. There we go. That works. That works. You heard that, Jay? Internals come out. He's gonna review Eternal next week. So watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to mode. Okay, uh, let me let, let me explain myself. Um, I was supposed to went to see it, but I've had uh, issues this week, so I didn't go see it. I was be I actually supposed to be in Alabama, but I didn't go. Hmm. Uh, we'll speak on that outside. Be um, yeah, Eternals. I, I haven't seen Shane Song, and I'll see on uh, Eternals. They're not like those are. Thank you. I said same song, didn't you? You yeah. did say same song. Oh, Lord, my girlfriend was like, "Wow." <laughs> we, ta- we talked about we talked about more to come. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, like, yeah. I have movies that I don't care about to the point like you can spoil it and I still watch it. Then I have yeah. movies I don't want to hear about, and that's like my hero because it's actually one of the only animes where the movies are in it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you why I care was... about Eternals. Huh? I care, but don't care about spoilers. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I heard it's good though. I heard it's good though. Yeah. I heard, yeah. It's been getting review bombed, unfortunately, but I've been I've been hearing the same. 
Did he die out? No. Yeah. Okay, you back. He got a phone. Yeah, out. I hit the wrong button on my phone, but oh, I was just saying, I was just saying, whoops. I was just saying it was getting review bombed pretty badly. So mm. and just certain critics don't like that it's not that it's diversely inclusive. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, uh, yeah. my, my boy gave it an eight. But he said, just so y'all, to, a warning is it's more story world building than Got your you. typical Marvel. Right. Well, so. Yeah. Well, MCU was kind of due for a lore building movie. It right. is exactly. kind of due to something. Which is probably why I got an eight. So I'm, I'm with it. I'm gonna watch it this week, and uh, we'll see what the review is going like yep. Saturday. Yeah, hopefully, it like leads up to Spider Man or something. I'm hoping because Spider Man, I don't know. I, I'm kind of, I'm like, I do want to see it, but I wish it wasn't coming out on Christmas. I, I really wish it was. It came out oh, on wow. Christmas. I really, really do. I wanted to see that more than anything, even change she or the Eternals. I kind of wanted to see Spider Man more than anything. But it's just coming out on Christmas and then going to the movie theater around Christmas is always a pain in the ass. So that's why. I just don't like going to movies that time of year. Not right. That means you're going to have to wait a little bit. Yeah. It's not like they're going to do it like Black Widow and put it on Disney Plus. If they did, I'd pay $30 for that right now. Well, I'm going to uh, IPIC to see it. So. That's where you got the little cubicle and it's a restaurant there and the bar and all that. So. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I love those movies. You about that shit fire, yeah, if you That's go to like Alamo to or even um... Oh, where? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it was real. Nice. I still have not seen Carnage. Y'all can't get mad at me. Yeah, you still ain't seen what? I still have not seen Carnage. Carnage is all right. Carnage is all right. Carnage was good. I still have not seen Carnage. Y'all can't be mad at me. Nah, nah I can understand. Okay. I, it's, it's okay. I, I, just I don't know. This, I'll just tell you this. It's not a movie. It's just a fight. I'll put it just like that. It, oh, that cause pretty it's much. Really it's not really a movie. It's just a fight. It's just yeah. set up to a big, tough fight, and then, is it a good then there's a post credit scene, and then yeah, the post credit scene will make your eyes roll depending on your mood. Gotcha. That's what I heard. Post credit scene was good, but it's weird. It, it was. It, it, it was makes no sense. It was weird. It, yeah. Yeah, unless you know the comic lore, it's not going to make a, a hell of a lot of sense. Well, that's gotcha. why I read comics, so that's good for me. Right. <laughs> so hopefully, I figure we'll know. Yeah. Like, okay. That's a that's a post credit scene. That if you don't, it's going to be like it's like what the fuck. But if you don't know, especially the recent comic stuff, it's not going to make sense. You're like, uh, oh, uh, okay, right. All right, all right. Yeah, they'll see it, but it's no issue. Yeah, yeah, take your time with yeah, take your time with cards. It's gonna probably end up on Disney Plus eventually. So right, right. I don't know about that one. That one, uh mm. well, maybe like, Venom. If Venom leave. shows up on there, I'll believe it'll show up. But until the end, true. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go and say. So the the um, credit scene puts them in the MC now. Oh, he was trying to save the spoilers. That's fine. I know, but it puts them in MCU, so it might put it's gonna put Venom in, in MCU, MCU. So we'll be able to put that on. Right. Disney yeah. Plus. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to keep it spoiler free, but okay. Go say it. Yeah, it's all right. No biggie. It's, no biggie. Because there's so many it. ways that that can be done. It's still a weird one. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 like like I said, that's the thing. It about, a... It's so many ways, but the way they did it was so yeah. lame. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. What I'm like, there's so many ways it could be done. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, if it wasn't for the fact I was I was paying attention to the recent Venom run, even I would I was kind of mad at it too. I was like, oh, they're doing this, like uh, they gotcha. they're pulling from a recent comic run, what they did with the symbiotes and gotcha. everything. So, um, yeah. pretty much like the symbiotes are multiversal. Like so we're gonna just keep it a buck fifty with the spoils. Like so symbiotes are, are multiversal. So, yeah, um, yeah. So. Yeah, this whole multiverse thing is yeah. That's all another thing. Yeah, so. yeah. You see why DC's not doing it? Well, I guess if that Flash movie ever comes out, I still don't think that shit's coming out. That's just my opinion. I mean, but, technically the they don't movies? have to because they. They've got galaxies, which I don't think MCU needed it either, but they didn't really go galaxy wise. They really, I mean, they could go galaxy instead of multiverse. They just decided to go multiverse. You know what I mean? As far as lore goes. True. But that's just my personal, you know, thought on that. 
Marvel made so much more sense. Hmm. Yeah. Because it's in the but game. it's just Sony. Sony want to try to get claw they win in the MCU and they find a loophole around it. So, yeah. Kudos, Sony. Kudos. That's all I'll say. Cool. All right. Well, with that being the case, we got our movie wrap up. We've had a wonderful time with you all. Once again, we appreciate you all for joining us for Absolute Pandemonium. We have the samurai rolling out as we speak. <laughs> y'all have a great one. We'll see y'all motivation Monday, and we'll see you back here again, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for Absolute Pandemonium next Saturday evening. All right. Yeah. All right. Yo. Later.